What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What if we just went, hey, went hey. in and out of it, Robert Pews, and then our own Pews? In case you I'm didn't realize, out. Robert's not with us right now. Robert's not with us right now. It's just Pat and Alex, episode 398 of Pass the Gravy. Happy Gravy Day to you and yours. Um, Bobby is hopefully going to be joining us at some point. He had a work event he had to, to do. And um, hopefully he will be able to join us by the end of the show, at least the mock draft, because we got a pretty interesting wide open mock draft that we're going to do in mock draft season this week. Um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff we're going to talk about. But before that, we always start off with the pre-come segment, the pre-comeback kid segment, mm. where it's just kind of our our turn to kind of like just bring up some some things we wanted to talk about. And I first would like to, to say is there anything worse than when you have like a zit and it's in one of those weird spots on your face where like you can't pop it without like tearing up? Yes. The worst thing is when you have a zit that's right there on like the bridge of your nose. Like, well, the like that's like opening. the same kind. And that's then you're the like, worst spot. when you're trying to pop it, you're just like, ah, and you're like, you got like tears coming out of your eyes. like Or just on the inside of your nose where you can feel it constantly, but you can't pop it. Right. I ha- So I had one um, like right here on my lip. And like you could see like oh. the little the little white head, and then it like I was like it's not ready to pop yet because if you don't pop it on time, if you pop it too early, then it's just red and all fucking stupid looking for like two days. And I was like it's on my lip, it's gonna look like a herpy if I do it too early. So I had to wait. And then I think Tuesday I was like all right, this bad boy's ready to go. And it was like a it was a very satisfying zip pop, a very satisfying zip pop. And I'm not really one of those, like, I don't watch Dr. Pimple Pop or anything like that. But I was like, okay, tight. But, like, now it's, like, got to, like, like the, like, little, like, dot has to go back down. And it's just, like, it sucks. And it was one of those where it's, like, I had to I had to pop it. And just I knew that it was going to, like, tear up when it was doing it. It just fucking sucks. So I don't know why that came up. But it's just, like, I wanted to start the podcast off with, like, fuck zits, dude. Fuck zits. Like, I'm a 32-year-old man. I shouldn't be getting zits at this point. How are you 32 already? Uh, I was born. I'm still 30, uh, and we were in the same grade. Ago. Well, I already had a birthday this year. Still. I would be a year older than you. I don't fucking know. I went to school Stupid when I Atlanta to school, holding kids back. I went to school when I went to school. Um, also, um, I saw this. I was watching TV before we started the podcast, and there is a new show on Netflix called Marriage or Mortgage. And the concept of the show is basically couples meet. It's like, it seems like it'd be an HGTV show if it wasn't on Netflix, but it's like, there's a house person and then there's a wedding planner person. And like the couples have to decide whether they want their dream wedding or their dream home. And like when they were explaining it to like the show that I was watching, I was like, so like obviously the home, right? Like the home is your life. Like you can live in it. And the wedding is like a one day thing. And like, you know, there's people that chose dream wedding over dream home. And it's like, what the fuck kind of like concept is that? Like, no, you play, I uh, I can't live in a wedding when I can live in a home. I can go home. Like that's a fucking, like for your life, you could be set in that home. I'm trying to think of a scenario where it's the dude that's like, no, we really got to get this wedding. I can't come. Like the only thing that's coming to my well, head. Well, no, there was a guy in like, it. He was like, "I just want like I want our wedding to be the best party of all the weddings we've been to." And it was like, the girl's like, "So yes! that's what it is." He wants. He's choosing that just because he wants the sickest open bar that his friends can always brag on him about. But like, because that's all. That's all your guy friends care about at any wedding is the open bar. Like it's got to be an open bar. If it's not, you're an asshole. Like my best friend went to a wedding last week where it was not an open bar and they were supposed to get like four free drink tokens and they never even gave them the token. So it was just a strict like cash bar at the wedding. Dick move. I just like, who gives it? It's a fucking wedding. I'm with you. I would never. That's one day. That's one day. It's not even a full day. 
Well, here, here's the one question with it too, is like, yeah, we might get our dream house, but like, are we going to have crazy, insane property taxes on this fucking house? Probably. It's a dream house. I would assume. Whatever. Just sell like, it. Just sell tax. it right after. Dude. Yeah. You get the dream house. You wait a year. You sell it for full sell profit. It. Boom. Guess who won out of that game? I feel like yeah. there's got to be rules in that. I know that um, that fixer upper show with Chip and Joanna Gaines, they had to put some claws in the contracts because like people were Airbnb being it. They're like, you can stay in a house that Chip and Joe redid. And they're like, no, 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 no. We're not a side income for you after the show. It's like, you can't Airbnb out your house, which I think kind of makes sense to an extent, yeah. but it's also like, you're crazy if you don't take the house. 100%. I mean, it's going to be more expensive, most likely, but it's like, you can't afford both. I was like, yeah, so you fucking say, sorry, the party's going to be less. Anyone who takes the wedding has to just have like family money anyway to it. They're not worried about it. Like that like, wasn't whatever. a real we'll decision an, they had to go we'll, to. We'll get another fucking house. I just thought that was an interesting concept for a show where I was like, "What? what is the twist? Like you take the home. <laughs> what if it was like, so you, it's going to be, uh, it's your dream home, but there's a really, really curmudgeon old man that's going to live in the basement and you got to deal with him. It's like they, they build as she's a homemaker and he's a teacher. So this is a hard decision for him. Little do you know, she's like the heir to the Johnson and Johnson fucking <laughs> fortune. She's yeah, she's a homemaker, and also she's won the lottery twice. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't tell you that. <laughs> fucking, I I just I know that show would piss me off. I, I assume it does you too, because like you said, like. Marriage or mortgage, you just say uh, house. Like they weren't even H- finished explaining time. it. And I was like, you go house. You go house. I haven't even seen the house. I don't have to see the house. You Give me house. the free house. Hmm. One day or perhaps the rest of your life. I'm gonna go rest of my life. Seems like a seems like a solid deal. And like if your girl's like mad about not picking the wedding, it's like she probably ain't the girl, you know, like <laughs> right. Maybe you don't need to be getting married to this girl. Uh, but that was another fun little fact I wanted to bring up. And just, I'm glad that we are on the same page with that. If you are on the wedding, like, oh, marriage side, like, yeah, you're free to have your own opinion, but just know your opinion's wrong. Very That's wrong. The dumb That's the dumb choice side of them. Uh, I, I mean, like, how long would you talk about a wedding? Even if it was like your best friend's wedding, it was amazing. It was awesome. Like you talk about it in passing, but like, it's like, this is my fucking dream home. I come to home to this every day. Like, do they get input on the dream home? Because, like, I'd be like, oh, you know, you walk in the front door and you just kind of knock the sidewall and a bar cart comes sliding out. Like, that's my dream home. Go dream home, get married in the backyard of the dream home. There you go. Boom. Yeah, but my dream wedding, I wanted 200 guests. Like, I honestly could not think of 200 people I would want there. I I can't think of married on a Viking ship. Like, if I really sat down and thought about it, I could probably come up with 50 people, including guests that I would want at my wedding. I could probably fill up 200, but. But do you really, really want all to, them there? No, no. That's them. That was my thing. Yeah. You don't want that many. And like, I would really be like, okay, like. Oh shit. I didn't think about Carl. Their, their he had too. his. <laughs> yeah. Like, so you could, you could I stack could it up 50. to 200, but it's she like. She probably one, has 150 she, friends. Yeah. yeah. She would definitely also have friends too. See, again, I've got like why you're not in this, the marriage type situation. Yeah. I've got like eight friends. Remember, plus she would family. have been part of it. <laughs> <laughs> This is Pat my wedding, the wedding was not t- her wedding. This is my day, okay? Sweetie. I literally thought it was just a party for me and my buddies. It's just a Pat party. <laughs> Wait, you're just going to stand up at a certain point. Like, what's I'm up, yeah? Oh, myself. I was supposed to. Can I? Can I marry Where myself? Where is she? I'm like, discount? I don't know. She must have bailed on her wedding day. I don't Crazy, know. right? Oh no! Good Let's hit the bar. The house. Clean out the bar, everyone. Let's eat some cake. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah i'm glad we're on the same page on that and then this was from our good friend dusty Rhodes, friend of the podcast she was doing one of those quarantine podcast episodes she had posted uh something it was like uh, how to get a guy to go off and uh, how to get a guy to start talking on a dating profile and it was like um what animal do you think you could beat up in a fight and it was just like some guy was like i mean like do i have time to train does the animal have time to train because if it's if i think i have time to train i think it probably i could probably take a horse and I just was like, oh, this is a funny exercise. Like, it was the screen cap of somebody on a dating app. And she was just like, this is how you get guys to talk. And I would meet it was just like, 
duck, penguin, and what was the other one I said? I, I can't remember what it was, but I was like, duck, penguin, this. And I put like three of them. I was like, could totally fuck those up. And then she decided to like, put my story up and she's like, exhibit A. And then like throughout the rest of the day, she's just been posting other dudes are like, wait, like, what about this? And it's like, that is a hundred percent like how you get guys talking. You're like, what animal do you think you could beat up? And then I was just like, what animal do you think you could beat up at? Like, I don't know. What do you think? Well, the first thing that popped into my head was just any baby animal. Like I, I immediately thought of like a, like a newborn uh, horse, uh, infant chimpanzee. <laughs> Animals that I wouldn't want to fight, but those I didn't think of like duck. I thought of a duck. Actual, I like, could kick the fuck out of a duck, dude. God, I flamingo, mean, duck, I, penguin. That's what I said to her. I guess we got to go with a flamingo's large, like a lot of times on just one foot. Kick at this point, we got to so, let, let, let's narrow it down. It's got to be the adult version of the animal, right? Fighting that's, children that's is not cool. Uh, wheezy number one, totally beat up Wheezy. No. Dogs With don't love. count. You're not allowed to beat up dogs. Yeah. You're not allowed to beat up dogs. Um, dogs are exempt. Cat. Any cat. Not any cat. No, any cat. Like a lion? You, where, that means no. lion, like no. cougars. Domestic, domesticated cats. Yeah. Um, I feel like I, arm, I don't know. Armadillo. Like cats are sneaky. Armadillos. Yeah. They could bite you. Like, I feel like I could fuck up a turtle. Most lizards uh, that aren't like on monitor, what kind of turtle. Most lizards that aren't monitor, like, just stomp on the fucking tor- turtle or tortoise or whatever it is. Oh yeah, but if it's a snapping turtle and it gets a hold of your toe, it's game over. Yeah, but you go behind it, bro. You wear steel toe boots. Do you have you ever dude? Their head can like, come out of their shell and almost reach their tail over the top. Like yeah, what those if it's a steel toe boot reach. though? It fucking better be. The toes made of steel. I don't think he's getting through that. Um. I could probably beat up a ferret. I don't uh, think yeah, I would want to, though. One. But like, if you, like, I'm talking like this animal comes at you and it's just fucking piss. It's like, fuck you, Pat. I'm going to, it's either you or me that's leaving this room. You're like, okay, ferret. Sorry, bro. Yeah. I'd call I like it ferret I like fossa, is what I would answer. call it. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, can't na- you can't name the animal you're going to fight. You have to know your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sun Tzu, calm down. Um, I feel like, yeah. Penguin, just because like a penguin wouldn't want to fight me, but like, if a penguin was pissed at me, it's like, you don't even have hands, bro. Like, what are you going to do? Flap at me? You can't fly away. I wanted to I, say uh, Canadian goose, but those fuckers are mean. That's why I said duck and not goose, because geese can be mean. And they honk at you. Like, and the, kind of right, a bird I, honks. I, if it came down to it, like life or death, like I could fuck up a goose. Yeah, I could too. Because like, like, you just grab it by the neck and you start beat, you start throwing it down. You know, like, you know, like you get like that neck is just a handle. It's a ladle. It's a ladle that I can slam down like a motherfucker until it's dead. I don't want. Now all we're not condoning violence against though. animals. We're not condoning violence against animals. This is a hypothetical question. If you had to be like, what are some animals you could beat up? The guy that said horse, you're fucking high, dude. You're not going to be very horse. high. A horse is going to kick you in the fucking face or bite you or fucking just run over you. Like, what about a cow? No cow. A cow's way fat. Uh, if it's a heavier animal than you, you're fucked. A raccoon, but I'm definitely going to get fucked up a little bit by it. See, that's why I didn't pick raccoon, because it's like, I can't 100% say I could beat up a raccoon, because what if it, like, claws my eyes thumbs. out, and then, like, they've got thumbs, yeah, they man. have hands. So it's like, that's a whole, that monkey, not a chance. I don't fucking think I could. Oh, I could no, pick. monkeys, monkeys are too agile. They crawl around, they claw your eyes out, rip they your all, face They off also now. have hands, yeah. Um, I mean, most bugs, I definitely think I could fuck up. Uh, uh, most most any lizards, fish. any fish, but depending on if you have the high ground, yeah. Like assuming this is a, a land battle, then yeah, because like, like I would, if I'm on the fish's turf, I don't know. I'd fuck up a trout on land. What about a trout in a stream? Um, I, I, I don't think I still get it. I don't think I beat it up, but I think that like I would have to cannonball just hand-to-hand on top of it combat, and stun it. And then throw it onto the land. <laughs> Stun it. Throw it on the land. Just stomp it. Yeah. Just I think if I think if I hit a cannonball next to any fish, it's gonna be stunned for no, you don't get seconds. weapons though. No, no, no. I'm talking about me jumping in and yelling cannonball. Oh, yeah, you can the, the, the impact of my fat ass hitting the water is gonna cause a concussive force. It's gonna knock out any fish in the area. I think I could fuck up one of those big catfishes if like that you go noodling for. 
Like I don't want to do you, that, dude. I don't want to, but you that get it. It's out. out of its own fucking. It's out of its spot. You take it to the land, and then you just kick it. Like a fish, you could kick to death. Most of these animals, I'm planning on kicking to death if I had to get into it with. Them. Meerkat, I could fuck up a meerkat. I don't know, just, dude. Just punt it. I don't know enough about meerkats. They're like this big. Right, but like, yeah, I think I could fuck up a meerkat. It's like whack a mole. <laughs> I just can't, can't, can't. I want to Which is squirrel, the sound of whack a mole if everybody's never played whack a mole. Those little obviously. bastards, they bite hard. If it was a college squirrel, it could totally fuck up a college squirrel. No, oh, oh no, Texas State squirrels are fucking crazy. I don't know. Every college squirrel, every college has like the friendliest squirrels. They love people. It's like, yeah, because they're around fucking people all the time, dude. Yeah, no, Texas State squirrels, they're everywhere, but they're not really that friendly. Like they don't fuck with you, but that's because you know not to fuck with them. I, you know, I wouldn't want to fuck up as Frankie Ocho. No, Frankie Ocho. My, you, you don't, oh, you don't dude, you want to come to my mailbox, oh, bro. Frankie Ocho, I'm a fighting spider and I'll fuck you up, brother. I was thinking about him the other day. I was like, I miss Frankie. <laughs> what was the question? It was like, if there's a mail, if there's a spider in my mailbox, is it my responsibility to kill it or is it my mailman's problem? Uh, no, no, you don't. You just, you leave Frankie alone. You leave him be. <laughs> He's the world's problem. <laughs> He's just trying to catch a free flight over to Australia to see his cousins. You could That's slide why me in into mail. one of these mail bags and you know, I'm <laughs> boom. Free flight. There we go. I gotta get FedEx. It. I, I gotta get out of the country. The government's after me. I haven't paid taxes in years. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get me on racketeering. Uh, I'm one of a racketeering and tax evasion. It ain't happening, buddy. I'll see you guys in France. JK, I'm not going to France. Lakes. I wouldn't tell you where I was going. <laughs> Pamela. <laughs> now it's just Tony Soprano at that point. Yeah, except it's all the characters' voices just mixed together and then shit out through a shitty Basically. fucking voice box. Basically. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, animals, you can beat up in a fight. If you want to hit us up on Twitter, at Pod, let us know. If, if it was an animal we haven't mentioned and dogs are not, answers. Dog, we don't fight dogs. No. We are. We fight all the other animals, not dogs. But, I mean, if you think you can fuck up a cougar... Like, no, let me know. You're wrong. I don't. You're, wrong. You're, you're probably wrong. I think a cougar. Keep it realistic. And you, Although there have guys, been people that beat up cougars. You don't get guns in this scenario. Just a hand to hand, hand to paw combat. You get what you are. You're just your body. I wonder if I could take a kangaroo. No, dude. No. Nope. They fucking are born boxing, bro. I know, but you saw that video when the kangaroo was strangling the dog, and that dude just ran up and gave it one shot. And the kangaroo was like, whoa, okay. I don't I think I could. I don't think so. I, I, I think if the land kangaroo one. came to fight, dude, he's going to fuck you up. Yeah, probably. Because I don't think my stamina is very high. He's going to be right. able to fight. And that's all he I does. Am. That's all he does. I could stamina. jump inside of his pouch, though, and just confuse him. It would confuse him temporarily until you and then, and then, and then, and then hit him it. with an uppercut from the punch. I don't think you have pouch. enough momentum going up. You're punching up, dude. Yeah. Then the, then the ball's in his court. He's punching down. Oh, my balls would definitely be in the She's punching down. I think only the females have pouches. Oh, I don't know. I'm not an expert I'm not be- on I'm not big on the uh, the uh, body characteristics of marsupials. Nor, nor am I. I'm not a big Rue guy. Well, send, you know, once Frankie Ocho gets down there, we'll have him do some investigating. He'll get back. We'll catch us. that. We'll catch a kangaroo. We'll, we'll, we'll cut it up. We'll skin it. We'll grill it up. And we'll throw it into a stew. We'll call it a Rue Rue. You know what I'm talking about. For all you Cajuns out there, you Cajuns. <laughs> Let's move the fuck on. Moving on, this, yeah, probably. probably this is idea. Robert's fault. Robert, see what happens when you're late, Robert? We get on tangents about animals we can fight and whether or not we can beat up kangaroos. <laughs> Spoiler alert, we can't. We, we cannot. You're right. That's very true. Um, let's move on to our first segment of, or i guess our second segment technically this is the uh comeback kids segment where we tell you what's back in the news it's the comeback kid the comeback, comeback kid. kid of the week the comeback kid of the week 
bitch. Our first comeback kid this week. Why don't we start off with, I feel like what everybody's talking about, women. Because it's internet. It was internet. What they do Women's now? No. Oh. Whoa, okay. whoa, dude. Oh. We're here to. Res- we're here. This is a re- <laughs> respecting women podcast. Uh, it was International Women's Day on Monday, and then that gave way to International Women's Month. And yeah, just shout out to all the ladies. Gravy ladies T-shirts available at the Past Gravy Merch or PastGravyMerch dot com. And uh, we love all of you ladies that listen to the podcast, and even those of you that don't that should listen to the podcast we still love you guys too i almost tweeted out happy international Women's day to my mother and only my mother but i was like somebody's gonna see this and get us like and just shit storm my yeah. comments and i was like i don't need that i personally you know what, ladies just do pink squares on our instagrams and just i don't have an instagram it. so yeah, that would have been very exclusionary of you able to per- participate but I think all you ladies out there, you should go treat yourself, or hopefully you did if you didn't yet. Take a day this week. Well, now to it's treat a month. yourself. Go to the spa, like get month. your nails done, maybe have some Burger King. You know, just really take care of you. No, not Burger King. Burger King is <laughs> frowned upon. So, like, what Burger King did, <laughs> they got just like destroyed and like canceled. I thought it was clever. This. I thought it was clever too because they were like. People don't know how to take a fucking joke. They, uh, yeah, it was just like Twitter. It's not even so much a joke it was because a... they they tweeted women belong in the kitchen, and then immediately like like followed up that tweet with actually less than half percent or like less than like twenty percent of chefs in our restaurants are women, and we'd like to change that. And it was like basically like, hey, we'd like to have some female chefs. Like we, women should be chefs. They went for the attention like, getting headline, and they got the attention, and it was the British Burger King. So like honestly, I would say. That's probably the most like important of the Burger Kings because that's the actual like only that's one of the few countries the King. Burger Kings in with a monarchy. Yeah. Or I guess but they don't have just, they have a monarchy, but they don't. We'll get to that in a little bit. But I saw it and I clicked on. I was like, no fucking way did they just tweet that out. I was like, that's the funniest fucking tweet of all time. And then I clicked on it and it was like. Only if they want to. And like you said, they explained that they're setting up a scholarship fund for women to go into culinary school if they want to and all that shit. Which I was like, oh, okay. Like, I see what they're doing. I was like, if they had just tweeted women belong in the kitchen on an International Women's Day, that, that would have been, been the funniest fucking tweet of all time. Also bad. Like, that, that, that it would have been bad. I, I, yes, of course it's bad. But also just to say, fuck you, we're going for the biggest dickhead joke we can on your day <laughs> like come on then there was the no. one where it was like happy international women's day and it was the scraped tire <laughs> i saw that i, and I was like, God. That. like i just i'm not taking any shots at anybody i love first off shout out to me i respect women but i don't need a shout out because i respect every day to me is international women's day just sh- throwing out respect for all the ladies out there um but yeah, shout out to, was it, was it Danny Weston? Danielle Weston was our woman of the year. So mm-hmm. you know what? Let's elevate her. This podcast is for you, Danny. This podcast is for you and your contribution to women all over the place. You are, you and Stephanie Ibaba are the only women of the year award winners ever for the gravies. And you know what? We have, a, we, we should put a plaque in the studio and just put your names on it. Because we care some in in the shape of like a female symbol, which is like an upside down pacifier. I mean, my buddy's over in Kuwait right now, and he's got a lot of time in the wood shop. I could see if he could make us one. If he's got some time, if he's got some time, you know, he's just making like Texas flag cutting boards right now. But the wood shop is shut down. I'll, I'll shoot him a message. All right, you never know. You never know. Maybe he'll. He's do on it. vacation. In Kuwait? No, he's not. <laughs> I mean, that's what we call it in the group chat. He's at camp. <laughs> it's okay, guys. He calls it vacation too. <laughs> uh, I knew. Uh, I guess Brad well, told me that he's deployed over there right now. For, yeah, no, that's you know, like, what, what I just assume. When you say Kuwait, I'm like, I feel like I know what's going on over there. But um, uh, but Brant Tober has been on the podcast, I think, three times now. He uh, was. T- he told a story one time about how his dad would be in and out of jail when he was growing up. And when he was younger, his mom was like, oh, dad's in college. And like, he'd get out and they're like, oh, he's on spring break. <laughs> and it was like, dad's on spring break right now. And he was like, when you get older, you're like, ah, dad was fucking, 
<laughs> out of jail and the dad just went back to jail <laughs> <laughs> why was spring break only two days long uh sometimes it was four weeks sometimes it was he, longer than that but then he had to get back to his studies the second the new semester started sorry how did you get two spring breaks Jeez, dude, it's a weird year it's a weird year um so women shout out to women for uh international women's day then our other comeback kid is the royal family and oprah oprah as well because i didn't watch it but I, I, didn't, I didn't need to watch it because everybody talked about it. Uh, um, Harry and Meg is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Although it's just like person Harry now. He's not the prince anymore, is he? He's still a prince. He's just not. They like just decided they don't want to do the like royal family shit anymore. Which like but he's still a prince, but they just don't want to do it, all the public. It's not real. In a way that, like. You have a prime minister. I, th- I think it's a prime minister, isn't it? Boris Johnson's a prime minister, which is their president. Like, so you, like it is something. This to do guy with, like, just this... does. He goes to fancy like galas and dinners. And They're like shit. the biggest like, landholders in the country, or something, though. So like, the fun shit. I don't know how it works. We want a war to not have to give a shit about that yet. Every time they fucking fart, it's like you see the royal family did this. Wow. There's a wedding. Let's all watch it and talk about it. And then, like, Oprah is like, hey, come sit in my fucking compound in my bajillion dollar backyard with you peasants, you millionaire, multimillionaires, probably. And uh, I mean, some problematic shit did come out in the interview. Like, the royal family apparently was concerned about the color of the child. Allegedly. Then, allegedly um then also just what i really learned about it is like megan markle doesn't really look anything like either of her parents also her dad i don't know what her parents look like every but just google megan markle parents but like her dad also looks like he would be a south park character that's eating a hamburger as he's like talking about to like, we're gonna take over the we're gonna take over the world and we're gonna dominate everybody because i am Meghan markle's dad and he's kind of a piece of shit where he's like until she contacts me i'm gonna go to the media every so many days like he looks does he not look like a south park villain he does he's basically like, what you're saying like is he looks Moore. like rob reiner rob reiner rob reiner or michael moore how he is portrayed on south park and she's got like her mom's face but it's just like man like i did not like if, if you were like these are megan markle's parents i would not have been able to, to no not a chance yeah um but megan markle now i think they live in canada i don't know i feel like i mean should... good for them what a weird place to pick to live <laughs> Like you the, moved the, one of the things that I Canada? saw that came out of this was they did a side by side of like all these Princess Diana like outfits that Megan basically just wore the exact same thing in different public outings. And it was like, so you knew the whole time, or you suspected that his family didn't like you, they didn't want you there. So you dressed up as the woman that they allegedly killed last time they had a son that married someone they didn't like. Ballsy. That's pretty that's an alpha move. It's ballsy. It's an alpha move. Then, I respect that. And then be like, yeah, they were really mean to me. Like, well, I mean, you kind of were antagonizing them right there, but. How are you antagonizing somebody by wearing a fucking dress? That's not antagonizing anybody. I don't know. It's I called fashion. Look it up, sweetie. All right. Robert says he's good. Send the link. All right. Robert Barbosa. We'll see what Robert. You know what? Robert is actually the biggest royal head of all of us on this podcast. Yeah. That's what we call. That's what you call people that are really into the royal family. Royal heads. Yeah, we're gonna throw them right in. We are. This is gonna be good. We're definitely going to. Bobby. Bobby. How's it going? Good. Dude, you right, joined so, us so, just in time. So, do you agree with me or Alex with what we were just saying about the royal family? Uh, get- well, I think just based off your guys' track records, I might have to agree agree with Alex on this. One. <laughs> <laughs> probably, Actually, probably that was bet. that was the probably right answer because. <laughs> He was saying she was asking for it by what she was wearing. I did wearing. not say he that. He basically said that. 
I will say you, this though. She always has that. struck me as a bitch. Like, I mean, whoa, like, whoa, we take, hey, you're talking about the princess. She's not a princess. That doesn't make sense, dude. It makes no sense. If you're married to the prince, you're the fucking princess. If you're fucking the queen, you're the king or vice versa. I don't know. She always has seemed like a bitch to me though. Dude, chill out. Well, here, you know, here's why. Because Harry seemed like the cool one. He was the party animal. He just kind of did his own shit. He was the little dickhead little brother that nobody gave a fuck about. And then she comes along. He served and his like, country hey, in the uh, army. Hey, yeah, uh, fuck the rest of you, family. Like, come on, dog. But no, Not saying like, that his if... family has always been the coolest, but. No, dude, the fucking royal family, like taxation without representation. That was a fucking whole thing. Like all kinds of other, like they've been a bunch of cunts, dude. Yeah, they're weak now. Who gives a shit? Like, hey, only this family gets to be in power ever. Like, that was their ideal society. I mean, they have since given up the power, and now they're just figureheads. Did they and, choose to give it up? And, or did they and the British are just like, yeah, that's cool. Still chill, and we'll all worship you. Like, that would be like if we just were like, hey, we don't have a president anymore. We actually have president two. Like, or whatever you would call. Like, we have a sire is what we're going to call the new head person in America. And like, then they just had like, like Joe Biden's like say it was in four years or eight years and Joe Biden's out of office. And like Joe Biden still is just going to like hang out in the white house. And like, we're going to just, we're going to go and check on him all the time. It's like, I don't fucking give a shit about that guy. Like why? Like they don't do it. Like who gives a fuck? I don't know. There's a bunch of I, old people. I don't even care enough to find out why the royals are still in like in power or charge i don't like, know dude, i think, you think about it, they're just you want out rich? and like maybe harry wanted out maybe harry wanted out why all like you? they did fucking kind of like kill his mom and it's like yeah i would kind of harbor some resentment i would harbor I some resentment for his mom oh i mean well i'm okay his mom died and there was all that shit around it but like i feel like he was just like i think she got fucked with and like now you're trying to fuck with my wife fuck y'all i'm out like I like that. That's a that's an alpha move is for both of them. For her rocking the when I said he or Pat said he she was asking for it. He was like, well, she would wear <laughs> dresses that Princess Diana used to wear, and she knew that they hated her. And I was like, so you're saying she was asking for it, Pat? Uh, but like I, sure. I think that I I just I think that they were both probably like fuck y'all and like really like what are you like a glorified like person that goes to parties like that's it. Yeah, you just get to be super rich and live an easy life. How hard. Right, so they're like, fuck you. I, like, he served in the army. He's like, I want to go live somewhere else. I don't want to do your dumb shit. I don't want to have to go to like knighting ceremonies <laughs> once a month. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't go want to fucking all hang that. out. I'm just going to take my $10 million inheritance and move to Canada. Yeah, man. If I had $10 million, I wouldn't want to do shit. And every eight months, my wife is going to get a role in a B-movie. I don't think she has to anymore. <laughs> like it's ten million. Like ten million dollars is awesome. Yeah, I mean, I would assume they still have to spend a shit ton on security. So, like, if if literally all he has is ten million, I have a feeling that they're gonna fucking burn through that. Now, I think he's still gonna have more than that, but apparently they're just like not paying for a lot of his shit anymore. I don't know. Did you watch Robert? The interview. Yeah. No, I didn't watch the interview. Good. We did. We, that's all three of us then. So <laughs> great, great that we're weighing in on it. But we get to just speculate wildly, which is what we're best at. What are your thoughts from what you've seen about it? I mean, you, I'm sure you've seen clips, like we all have. Uh, I actually haven't seen any clips. All I've heard about was just like the the skin comment and that she was suicidal. Those are the only two things I've heard about. I guess those are the two big headliners. Yeah, same uh, here. <laughs> uh, just based off those two, it it seems like a good reason to want out. Right. Why Why am I going to stay in the situation? And the ball I mean, to be able to the... say, like, fuck y'all, we're not only, like, out, we're not even going to live in this country anymore. We're going to fucking move across the pond, as they mm -hmm. say. And, and we're going to just fucking live in fucking Canada. Most random place. Yeah. Ever. I mean, it, and it all depends on who you believe that, like, what was it? Three days before they even did the interview, the Crown had, like, released a bunch of stuff where, like, no, she was a complete bitch to the servants all the time, talked down to them, was very rude. So, yeah, convenient fucking timing, but, you know, I would assume both of them are lying a little bit because that's just what I assume about everybody on the fucking planet. Yes. 
So it's kind I mean, of some, probably somewhere in the middle. Like they were probably standoffish towards each other and then thought the other one was being more of a dick than the other one was. But I'm not trying to knock knows? on mental health or anything like that. Cause I'm dead. Like, I'm not like, oh, everybody not is subjective to, is subjected to, to all kinds of different things that nobody can put themselves in their shoes. But like, it is like all those memes. It's like, it's funny kind of watching like a billionaire talk to multimillionaires, but like, Oh, life is so hard sometimes. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, that's tight. I'm sitting here in my apartment and uh, ha, just waiting on a stimulus check. Yeah, still waiting on that stimmy, Biden. You know, the one that you promised us six months ago. I know he hasn't been, in, but he promised it six, six months ago. Six years ago, actually, yeah. is what Pat means. But yeah, Royal Family and Oprah is back. And man, Oprah's looking good, dude. Like, retirement's been been good on her. I didn't, I didn't even know she was retired. Well, she is. I mean, obviously, if she's not retired, she's doing that sit down. But I also really thought, like, just because... Uh, so when we finish the morning show, uh, Wendy Williams is always on at 10. And I just thought, like, how funny would it have been if I can't it wasn't stand Oprah? Her. I hate her. I hate her. But like, how you doing? How you doing? I'm Wendy Williams. <laughs> but like, I was like, how funny would it have been if for some reason, like, Oprah didn't do it and it was Wendy Williams. It was just like, all right, how you doing, Megan? Now tell me some of the tea. Spill some of the tea. Harry, you get that. You guys like tea over there. Better than that. I would have, I, I just give me somebody like I hate, like it put Nancy Grace in charge of that. So no, then, like, no, like we would have all Maury. taken their side. Oh my God, Megan, you mean the royal family was mean to you? That is not okay. You said the no, queen called you Nancy a complete and total bitch. The lie detector determined that was a lie, dude. Like, Maury just lie detectoring everything they That's say. That's even better. I think we could like give us the production ability to do that. Any next king or queen that comes up, just like, hit us up. I got, I got way better ideas. Oprah's awesome. We love Oprah. Everybody loves Oprah. I, but like, I was a little ashamed. Like she wasn't like, and if you'll check under your chairs, you got a Mercedes Benz. Like Shit. Harry would be like, yeah, I've got nine already. Yeah, he's like, I have all. It's of those. just us here, Oprah. I'm not, I don't drive, dude. She's like, yeah, I just had to give away two to make, uh, you know, more room in my garage. It's my thing. It's my thing. Okay. Stedman was making me. Stedman's not making her do anything. Dude, how awesome is that? Like, Stedman just, like, chills. Stedman is my own personal god. Like, that dude lives the exact life that I want to live. Like, he's not, like, in the spotlight all the time. Like, we know who Stedman is. You see a picture of him once every six years. Like, is his name Stedman Winfrey? Because I would take Oprah's last name. (laughs) <laughs> dude that might be the way that i would take her last name oh you're gonna make a billion and i don't have to do anything the rest of my life and i just hang out and once every six years we have to go in public where we take a picture but everything but 90 percent of the time you're just gonna take your best friend because you know i don't want to go i'll play x i can just play xbox all day every day cool i'll I, i'm gonna change my name to pat bitch boy is gonna be my last name that's you bitch pick boy. the last name and that's no, you can hyphenate name. it pat bitch boy winfrey Yes. Sign me up. I would stream, but like not tell anyone. So it would just be like me and my buddies, kind of like what we do now. Yeah. Although we'll get to streaming in a little bit. Streaming can be a little yeah. problematic these days. I would um, drink nothing but top and liquor all day, every day. Yeah. You would just be a raging alcoholic. God. Step. Does Stedman have a Twitter? I want to hit him up. I want to follow that guy. I don't know. What is at Stedman on Twitter? I'm sure <laughs> Oprah could buy him that. Once every eight days, he just tweets out, did nothing today. <laughs> yes, King. <laughs> Dude, Stedman, Stedman is our spirit animal, I think. Stedman is hashtag goals. Well, like, is there like, like most likable people in the world? Oprah's got to be up there. Right? Like, no matter what side you're on, it's like, how do you hate Oprah? I mean, some people are just, you know. Well, you're Racist. just a, okay. Well, yeah. Tom Hanks. Tom, right? No, but I'm saying like if you if we were like just saying like who were the most like well Tom Hanks, Oprah Winfrey, um, uh, Lil Nas X, obviously. Um, just the Rock, he's not a he, the, the Rock, Rock is, is up very likable. He's not right. alive anymore, but I think the most universally liked person in the history of the world was uh, Steve Irwin. That's a good one. That is maybe maybe some people from PETA didn't like him, 
but like you know for keeping animals in cages but he did it the right way and he did it for conservation and used that money to go back it like and by the way nobody likes PETA anyway so we can just kind of rule them the fuck out but Steve Irwin actually he had, he had to be the most likable person in the history of the world do we do that as our mock draft next week a most likable people of, of all time most likable people I like that or I call least hateable people well, it'll depend on how stable. the draft goes. I mean, not all of us can win every every mock draft, but we'll, we'll get to that part here. I'm assuming bit. you won this week. I didn't even I check did. the end oh, of it. No, you just didn't check? You didn't check? Yeah. No, um, I, I honestly forgot. I got pretty drunk we'll, this weekend. We'll get to the stats here <laughs> in a little bit. But, yeah, we're going to do a mock draft of Royals, which is a pretty wide open category on uh, this week's mock draft season. Um, yeah, Lloyd would be available for that. You can Lord is up in the draft. Um, our next comeback kid is Space Jam. This is Space Jam, and like there's so many layers of this we gotta we've gotta unplug or unravel, I guess, to talk about. Uh Space Jam first off, like yeah, that that's just getting talked about more and more. Uh the more I see the promos with LeBron James and the new Space Jam or Toon Squad jersey, the more I want to throw up when I look at them because like they're fucking awful. Like it, fact- it looks so bad. The fact that they went back and just tried to just ruin the Toon Squad. Like, the Toon Squad jersey was simple. White jersey, blue trim, red trim, Toon Squad. Jordan looks sick. By Done. the way, it is one of the all-time greatest party shirts. Like, you're whether, whether, normally it's, it's got to be a daytime party or a darty. A darty. people like to a call darty. it. You wear the darty Toon Squad jersey. jersey to it? I that have a Toon Squad jersey, dude, have for that time. exact reason. I have a I Bugs don't. Bunny. I'm Bugs Bunny number one. But or just a uh, pool party, bam, that jersey. It is. It is it, like my go-to, like pool. If I'm going to the pool or going to somebody's house, and they're like, "Yeah, we got. We're getting in the hot tub tonight." I'm like, "Cool, got my Toon Squad jersey ready to go. Let's go." Dude, it's just That's it's so perfect. And these new ones, it just seems like you took that shirt, showed it to LeBron James, said, "Hey, what do you think looks cool?" But also is going to show that you're trying way too hard. And no, it was like what the jersey hey, is now. Make this worse. Well, you know, that's what I said. You, they asked LeBron James what he thinks is cool. Right. I mean, LeBron James also thinks like giving kids education is cool, which I think is cool. So know, there I'm, are I'm some things saying, he thinks is cool, but I'm like, not saying yes. he's not a nice guy and does nice things. I'm saying he's a fucking douche and a goober. And actually, you know what? No, fuck that. He's not a nice guy. No, he's not. He does that shit, but I will never forgive him for when fucking China just killing Muslims all over their country. And LeBron was like, well, guys, I mean, let's pump the brakes real quick. I make a lot of money in China, so I'm not going to say anything out about this. I'm only the most powerful player in the fucking... Is the MIT grad a little uneducated, I think. Yeah, like I will never forgive LeBron for that, so fuck him. Uh, Yeah, I mostly am. I I hate LeBron just because like... He's a I douche. Like, I just he's he's is he one of the greatest basketball players of all time? Absolutely. Yes. But like is he also you, a dude, you're not douche. Michael Jordan. You're not Michael Jordan. You don't get Space Jam. No. Will I bitch about Space Jam this whole time? Absolutely. Am I gonna watch Space Jam? Probably when it comes out on Netflix at some I point. I doubt it. I probably will. I'm not I mean, gonna go to the theater point. or buy it on demand when it's like forty dollars to to rent or whatever. I'm not gonna do that. When it's available to me for free, yes, I will watch it. Some night I'll be up at 2 a.m. and it'll be on HBO and like five years from now and I'll probably watch it then. But like, there's a bunch of movies that I want to watch right now that I don't have time to see. Robert's not going to watch it. I uh, No, I will not watch it. No, I Robert's not going to watch it because they took away Lola Bunny's fucking tits and ass and which now is, Robert refuses to whoa. watch. Which is another part of the Space Jam being a comeback kid is Lola Bunny has been desexualized. And the internet was like mad. It's like, hey man, quit trying to fuck cartoon characters. Okay, first of all, it was a very pivotal point in my childhood and she helped me through some things. So don't it was don't a cartoon de- care, but like don't don't delegitimize my experience. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't <laughs> ever look at Lola Bunny that way. I was never no. like <gasps> I was never like, oh, damn. Like, I know they, they tried to, like, play it. Like, I just thought she was, like, the feminine figure. She was the feminine version of Bugs Bunny. And it was like, yeah, exactly. dude. Tight. That's what, this was just the funniest part to me. People are like, oh, how dare you? I'm like, dude, there's a lot of porn out there. I think you'll be okay. 
Right. Like you're, are you, were you watching Space Jam to jerk off? Like, was that your plan, weirdo? <laughs> yes. I mean, no, no. I mean, it wasn't my plan, <laughs> but it happened. <laughs> was, I didn't go in there with that on the agenda. It just, you know what? One thing led to another, and here I am. I got the lotion. It was out. two o'clock in the morning. I was a little drunk, and she came on the screen, and one thing led to another. I accidentally paused it, and then I got sleepy. What do you want from me? <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? She's wearing a baggy shirt and long shorts. I'm gonna so be yeah, up till now five. they've like made her. They've made her all skinny and stuff, and it's like she just maybe just you know she was just working on cardio. She didn't. She's not doing squat tober or anything like that. I, she's I, not I there to be a product for the male gaze. It, it it one of my favorite things and like so like let me give you guys like as as a member of the media somewhat. Um, let me give you guys a little inside info that I feel like I've shared before, but I'll share it again. Um, you guys remember that like rock blog where I literally was like, could the rock buy the Texans question mark? And it was like, all of the article was just like, probably not just something to think about. Like that was all the article was fucking so many people clicked on it or commented on it. that didn't read it. And they were either outraged or just like, well, there's no way that's going to happen. Like, that's what I think a lot of these people and like their cancel culture stuff. Like, I think that there's like the cancel culture is kind of having a like um, cancel culture. People are trying to get rid of cancel culture. And then just like people that really hate things. It's like, I, I, I don't know. It's like a Venn diagram and we're seeing all of those. Like there was a Speedy Gonzalez thing. I don't think he was in Space Jam. I don't know if he was in Space Jam. I don't remember. But like, he just seems like he'd be small to play basketball. Not to, you know, Muggsy or Muggsy Bogus played and he was so Bogues. small guy. He, but Muggsy Bogues, excuse me. But um, people were like, oh, I think it's time to cancel Speedy Gonzalez. And then the internet got so mad. It's like, I don't think that guy really wanted to cancel Speedy Gonzalez. I think he really just wanted people to click on his article. So he was going to go viral and he doesn't give a fuck because he got the clicks and he gave me, guys, look how many clicks I got. Like, so that's what we need to think of. Who is somebody that I can cancel? that like i'm gonna write a blog about it i'll post it i'll be like it's time we canceled insert whatever person or cartoon it is and then i'll come up with all these regions that seem legitimate just so people get mad like can you believe this idiot like it's a cartoon man it's a fucking cartoon there's gotta be something i I mean i do i watch like family guy like i don't watch looney tunes there's gotta be something yosemite sam did that's canceled all right so i was thinking like miss piggy kind of like oh oh definitely she was abusive rape culture rape culture like Dude, kermit domestic abuse part, kermit domestic didn't want abuse. to be part she, of that in a lot of ways she but beat the shit out of kermit international constantly. women's month i can't really i don't want to go out a woman so it's like that's not that's a harder tra- we got to go out of, like a dude cartoon character okay who are I the can two pick. who's the two old guys that sat up in the balcony and just heckled everyone yeah bullying that is bullying um that's a good one. It would like what other Muppets can we cancel? Which is, you know, just let's run this let's run this through the old brain. Everybody that's listening, slide in my DMs. Give me some ideas. Or just at Passive Pod. Let us know. Just tweet us at Passive Pod. Like we we should like by like next week. I want to cancel somebody. And it'll, just Ooh, be, the, it'll the, be a the, gravy the, gang the... inside bit. But it's like I'm gonna go cancel people. And then when I post the blog, y'all have to be like, well, I can't believe this idiot would try and cancel whoever. And like you guys get it, you guys hype it up, gas it up, like be like this idiot, stupid motherfucker, like stupid fucking dumbass. Like, well, Alex, you lost me here. And then like people are gonna be like, I gotta click. I wanna click. I wanna click. I wanna click. I'm gonna get all these clicks. Like that's where it's at, guys. And we're the Swedish skip, chef. Skip, skip Bayless treatment. The it's Swedish very chef. offensive. It's appropriate. Hergen, 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 Hergen. Like, wow, that's pretty fucking offensive to right. just boil and then down I'll somebody's language a clip like of that. that. Saying that and be like, even this guy thinks it's okay because of the Swedish chef. Cancel the fuck out of me. Well, I won't cancel you. I'm just gonna use you as an example of like what. I'm gonna pull our Kaiser Soze and, and just. God. I'm just saying. Like we gotta, we we gotta hop on this. We gotta strike while the iron's hot. Speedy Gonzalez isn't getting canceled. Somebody just wanted to write a blog about it. It worked. It's the Skip Bayless effect. I have the worst possible take. People lose their shit. I go viral for two days, and it's like, ha! I don't really care that you're making fun of me. Best case scenario, Ben I just gotta get, like, Shapiro the million retweets check. you to 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 disagree with you. That's that, best. That case. is really the best thing. Maybe maybe we can make that happen. That'd be pretty dope. 
that's the goal is to get to get on like Ben Shapiro's radar as an idiot and then like like ah, the Swedish chef was based off of I'd a like real to debate man. you. Why don't you come on my show? I'll debate you. I'm like, I would love to go on your show, Ben. I'd love to go on your show. And he's like, all right, we're here. This is Alex Middleton, a liberal pundit from 94.5 The Buzz and Pastor Gray Podcast. And he thinks it is time to cancel Miss Piggy. I'll tell you why we shouldn't. Here we go. Alex, what do you have to say about the Pastor Gray Podcast? You should check it out. It's free on the Apple Podcast app. It's also iHeartRadio. Uh, ben, what else did you have? Boom. Only going to debate you if we do it explodes. live. There we go. <laughs> I'm just saying this. We we gotta fucking start alpha braining other people where we have the hot takes that then we get invited on to defend ourselves. But really, it's just self promotion, and then people start listening to the podcast. That's what we gotta do. That's how we get to the next level. Gravy gang, let's work on this. It's a group effort. But then the gravy gang has to turn on me. It's a heel thing. It's a it's Andy Kaufman esque is what we're gonna do here. We're in on the joke. Not everybody else. You guys are like, oh Alex, ah, you lost a listener, but you guys gotta still listen. You- you guys still listen, and then you just we fuck them up. I like it. I, this is a great idea. I think a lot of life, also, but I think it's gonna work. If this happens, you got to make sure you you got to call him Shappy. Don't call him Ben. Don't call him Mr. Shapiro. Just pick, all right, Shappy. Let's do this. I call him a Shap head. I'm a Shap head myself. <laughs> Big fan. Oh my god, I want this to happen so bad, and I just want hey, to see we're gonna be doing it with um, um idiot. Like, Hi Ben. Hey, buddy. Good to Big see fan. you. <laughs> First time caller, long time listener. <laughs> um, so Space Jam's back because then also getting canceled. And this actually is happening. Um, Pepe Le Pew got canceled again. Like Pepe, like first off, there was a Dave Chappelle sketch where he was like, yeah, Pepe Le Pew is basically like a racist. So Rapist. Rapist. Ra- rapist. Not racist. Rapist. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Two the, very different, but equally bad so much things. These days. Um, yeah, um, I mean, like, we've known since we were kids. He was trying to rape that cat. Oh, oh, wait, wait. And it's like, also, we knew he was a cartoon. And I really, also, like, if, if I was influenced that much by cartoons, like they're saying people were, like, which is funny is like, I just did the whole, like, we're going to cancel a cartoon. And then like, I'm like, I mean, this is silly that they're canceling a cartoon. <laughs> like, I, like, I am what I'm trying to get other people to do for us, though. But, um, like... If we followed what Looney Tunes did and like that influenced us so much to the point to where like, oh, well, he's going to create a culture of rapists. It's like, then like, I'm not trying to trick Pat into going, running into a tunnel I painted and then blowing him trying, up. Like, like I'm not Wiley coyote you. Just sticking fireworks in your back pocket like, and writing Hanging out by a cliff them. so I can run off. Yeah, I'm not and hanging out. You look off. into the Thanks. invisible camera. Meet me. <laughs> Like, this is what I, just, I get though. Like, if you want to get rid of one character, okay, I'm fine with the like skunk that's straight up sexually assaulting a cat in every episode. No, I'm was, fine with that one going that, away. Like, they 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 just had to get called out enough before they did. It. Like, you're right. We're gonna cut every scene that Pepe Le Pew was in, so he's not in the movie anymore. It's like one, he didn't do takes. <laughs> like, it's a cartoon. It wasn't like he was on set. <laughs> Which would be funny if, like, Pepe Le Pew's, like, the guy that voiced Pepe Le Pew had to, like, be Pepe Le Pew. Just trying to, like, kiss the girl at craft services. Uh Uh-huh. Hello. That's what I love, too. The best part is just, like, yeah, but if we make him French, he's not a rapist. The French are just sexual people. Which is probably the way, exactly the way they thought. But, like... Yeah, no, Pepe Le Pew's out now, and, like, it was, like, I, I thought we already went through the phase where Pepe Le Pew got canceled, but, like, it's fucking Looney Tunes. It's Looney Tunes, yeah. guys. Let's relax a little bit, except for when I have my blog, and then we will all freak out again. That's what we'll do. But uh, just Pepe Le Pew canceled. What are your thoughts, Robert? What is your favorite Pepe Le Pew moment? And you can't say rape. Uh, I don't think I have one. I Because that's Pat's favorite moment. That is Pat's favorite moment. I haven't – I've never seen the – the movie. It's he's not a, a movie. skunk. He's a skunk. He's a, yeah. You've never seen Pepe Le Pew in like Looney Tunes? Com- Looney so Tunes this cartoons? is what would happen. Mm-mm. Pepe Le Pew would just be hanging out. Then the cat, who I can't remember her name, somehow would always Garfield. like walk. No, different cat. Garfield. She would. It was, it was a black cats. cat, but she would walk like underneath black the cat ladder Spider-Man. where a like paintbrush was, and she would always paint like a white stripe down her back. And Pepe Le Pew would always go. Oh look, it's a female skunk. Oh, I'm gonna try really hard to fuck her. 
<laughs> and that was the basis of the cartoon. And she would try and run away, and he'd be like, "Oh, come back here, Mona me." And then like that that it was, was it. like Every, Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner, but with like a guy that's really infatuated <laughs> with a girl that he's trying mm-hmm. to get like the girl. And it was like, yeah, dude, like, is it creepy if it was a real person? Yes. We were fucking five years old watching a cartoon. Like, I didn't think that. I didn't think like, this is what I should do to women. That would actually be really funny to see, like. Isn't that what Chappelle did? Chappelle did that, where he made a sketch about it. And he was like, like, he was a fucking weirdo. I don't remember seeing that, but yeah. Like, it'd be problematic to shit to watch, but be like, yeah, we're going to. With real people, we're gonna recreate every Pepe Le Pew skit. If they did a live and you would just be sitting there watching it, would be weird. God damn, what the fuck? That would be bad. I can't wait to write my blog. Cause like Johnny Bravo's already been canceled, right? I don't know. Because if not, that'd be a good one. But see, I want to go back and watch it because like. I feel like he just hit on women really hard and then they always like punched him in the face. Like it never got to the point of sexual, but he probably did grab some of them and kiss him at some point. Which we don't condone. He did. Yeah, he would do that, which we don't, which is obviously bad, but it's like, dude, so is baby. It's crazy when you really think about it, but it's like, it's just about fucking Christmas, man. Actually, I want to go back and watch that just to hear the pickup lines that he used because they were the most ridiculous. Hey, big mama. He's we'll basically Elvis, but with like a fucking <laughs> blonde haircut. Yeah, Elvis with a gigantic blonde hair and a fucking 86-inch barrel. Ch- he was Brock Lesnar with tall hair, tall hair and an Elvis Presley fucking accent. <laughs> Johnny De- or Johnny Bravo would be a good cancel if if that hasn't I mean I'd be hilarious to live too. action. No, you couldn't do it because they like, see that would be weird, but like Although I feel like, have they done a live action Johnny Bravo? No. They, I, I feel like they have. No way. Are you, th- are you sure you're not thinking of Johnny Quest? Which I'm not even sure they did a live mm, action maybe. of that one. I think they did. Okay, Johnny Bravo canceled is like the second thing that pops up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's already been canceled. Chicks but they always uh, did it in yeah, a positive way too, or semi-positive way where he <laughs> acted like a dickhead. And like 75% of the women that he was hitting on would just slap him in the fucking face. Like, stop talking to me, you fucking creep. I don't know. Can I screen share in this? No, I don't I don't to. think so. Um wait, wait, maybe. Share screen. This is wow. just enthralling. Ray. Robert, do you even know who Johnny Bravo is? Uh, I didn't at first, but you're talking about the he, he wears sunglasses, has like a big yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sort of familiar. I never, I didn't have cable growing up, so I've never seen any of these shows, but I'm familiar with like the descriptions a little bit. I never even really watched a lot of Johnny Bravo. Like sometimes if it was on, I would just do it. <laughs> the Rock this... as Johnny Bravo. So that's that what like when you when I was like live amazing. action Johnny Bravo, but it's like February 30th, so I know that's not true, but um, I just thought that was. I just thought that was pretty funny. That um, would be phenomenal. Because <laughs> so, he's kind of got like the same vocal range. He's got that deep bit. voice. A little It's basically just, you got to get an Elvis impersonator to do it. I mean, I'm pretty sure The Rock can do an Elvis impression. Everybody on the planet can do an Elvis impression. I bet he could. Uh, so yeah, Space Jam is back because... Lola Bunny's now being desexualized when people are mad about it, and then Pepe the Pew is being removed from it because he's been canceled again. Uh, our next comeback kid this week is Dak Prescott, guys. Dak is back. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid fuckers. <laughs> 42 million a year for a guy that can't hit a fucking slant route. Wait, way to go, guys. I, I bet you he gets a million dollars for each time he overthrows an open receiver this year. We can only hope. I mean, at least, like, he is the second best quarterback in the division now. Is he? Second. I mean, he's not as good. Like, Jalen Hurts is worse. We don't know I mean, who I, Washington's I quarterback say, is. I would say Jalen is worse, but, like. Dan God is obviously number one. I mean. That at Dan God. Here's the thing, and, and I've said this continually. Dak will make 
an amazing throw downfield, drop a ball into a fucking bucket from 40 yards away, fading it towards the end zone in between three receivers. And then he'll throw a slant where the guy's wide open, but throw it behind him. So instead of the guy catching it with momentum and running for 40, they'll get eight yards and he gets immediately down. And then he'll have a 15 yard in route where he'll just throw it six yards over the fucking guys. Like that guy is not worth 42 million a year. The worst I was thing about my buddies about it yesterday off the top of my head, I named nine quarterbacks. I would rather have not counting incoming rookies. Did you say Danny, jo- Daniel Jones? No, I did not. Fuck you, Pat. But I, I actually, I think Fuck it was 11 you. and I said I could make it to 13 or 14. I think he's between like the 11th and the 15th best quarterback in the league. Would you rather have Daniel Jones? Fucking say yes. I would say they're around the same for me, honestly. God damn it, Pat. Fuck you. Fuck you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But now, uh, for what their contracts are, give me Daniel Jones 10 times out of fucking 10 now. The one thing I hate about Dak Prescott the most is that, like, I wish he was more of a douche. He's a likable guy, except for the fact that he plays for the Cowboys. Like, I'm never going to like him, but, like... His whole why, like, why story about his mom asshole? and all that. It's like, I wish you just fight. Like, I, like Ezekiel Elliott's the perfect cowboy because it's like, I want, like, you have the most fucking punchable looking stupid face ever. But like Dak Prescott's like, he's like a nice guy. It was kind of like Tony Romo. Like Tony Romo was a nice guy. He was just kind of like a bro. So like, it was easy to shit on. I Tony always Romo. liked like, Romo. I fucking couldn't, you know? So I, I, I mean, I'm going to hate Dak forever. I fucking hate yeah. Dak. I think he's overrated. I think that, that he's not going to lead him to a, a Super Bowl. Well, you got Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott. You're guaranteed to not win a Super Bowl there. Well, like, I, they have to draft draft perfectly now. Well, they're going to get Patrick Just, Sertan in the draft in the first round. I've already I did a draft talk last night. Yeah, with Steffi Smalls. Uh, Probably, she, but she knows what's going on. But like, he yeah. has to be the exact player you think he's going to be. Your second round pick Non-stop. has to hit and be a starter, and you have to have your first and second rounders next year hit and both be starters. And oh yeah, because you got so much money drafted. Line while like all of this time, years. yeah, while all this time, your offensive line has to stay completely healthy, and you cannot lose anybody on defense either. That's a lot. Of Everything ifs. around Dak has to be perfect to win. When you're paying him forty-two, Cooper twenty, and Zeke sixteen, Which there's only so much money to pay go guys. You want to pay your number one receiver. You want to pay your running back. You want to pay your quarterback. I get that, but it's like you don't want to pay your running back. You want to pay your left tackle. If you want to pay they're one of the best running backs in the league, you, you kind of want to do that. I understand the logic on it. Like, and this is me wanting Saquon to be a giant going forward. So like I'm I'm hedging my bets on that. So really like, but it, it's like you you do hamper your team by that. Like that's the whole like Russell Wilson finally got paid and now he has kind of hampered the Seahawks by what they can do or can't do because the salary cap. And like that is what I think a lot of times when you like pay the guys, pay them, just pay them. You're like, this isn't baseball. Well, you got to pay him. Well, and then you you gotta like, what do you want? Yeah, you can do this. If the guy's worth being paid, then the next thing you need to do, you don't have to go out and get him every fucking weapon available. You get him one or two nice guys that he can work with. You pay the guy, and then you shore up that fucking offensive line to make sure that the guy that you paid can stay up. Like, and th- they didn't do that in Seattle. That's why Russell wants the fuck out, because they can't block me. Like, I could get through that line. They're fucking terrible. Probably even though you give him DK Metcalf on the outside and you've got other good receivers for him there. If he doesn't have two seconds to get them the fucking ball, then what, you know, what are you going to do? So that, I mean, that's the thing. Now the Cowboys, they have already spent so much capital in skill positions without fixing the defense. They're they haven't gotten more on their offensive line, which maybe that's they'll get what, some more in the draft. I'm most stoked about like you can their line. Dra- like, they have to have perfect they've defensive got good draft. Linemen. They've got good linemen. They just need to stay healthy but they haven't been staying healthy the last two years. So I don't know why you think all of a sudden they will this year. And I mean, you got an up and coming giants team. You got an up and coming Washington football team. The Eagles are kind of in shambles. They'll be in shambles for a little while. So like, I mean, like if you had to like go all in, this would be the time for the Cowboys. Like I get yeah. the logic. I just like, fuck the Cowboys, dude. That's really like, well, I got to say about that. Like fuck the Cowboys. They're not going to I would have anything. tagged them one more time. They did. And just seen. No, they they're paying him forty two this year. They could have they tagged, tagged him, him and it would have cost them thirty nine. It would have they could have tagged him again and it would have cost them thirty nine million dollars this year. Well, they did tag him until they officially reached the deal, but the deal is going to be reached. But it's just kind of like a placeholder at that point. Um, so they're not allowed to tag him anymore after this. But um, like really, he's he's a good quarterback, not a great quarterback. And 
I just don't see him being a quarterback that's going to win a Super Bowl. No. Not unless everything else around him is absolutely there, perfect. There's been that meme, though, where it's like uh, – Because he's going to miss big throws and big wanna, games. Well, like they were saying, like, all the quarterbacks that want to get paid, give me the money, give me the money, give me the money. Oh, how come Tom Brady's winning everything? And it's like Tom Brady restructured contract this year, restructured his contract this year, restructured his contract this year. Restru- like it showed all of the, the, the years that Tom Brady has restructured his contract to add salary – for his team to go out and get him more play, more players, more weapons. And it's like Tom Brady kind of gets it. Like you gotta be like, I understand like in, in this day and age, you want to make your money because the NFL is like, it's not for long is what a lot of people say it stands for, but like, yeah, it's good to strike while the iron's hot. Like Patrick Mahomes, I feel like that was a pretty safe bet. Like that's Patrick Mahomes. I feel like is going to be, he's still really young. He's going to be what? 35. When that is not old either. But Patrick Mahomes is a fucking superstar. Yeah, Can't Dak's 27. Dak. I mean, he's going to be 31 when this deal is done, if it's not ended before then, which I think it will be. I think after three years. Which Now we're at that age. <laughs> See, probably I'm, not. I'm, I'm probably older not than Dak will be. I'm older than Dak. I'm older right now than Dak will be at the end of his contract. And it's like, fuck, he's going to be old at 31? Damn it. <laughs> like, we are we are that age now. We're like, and that's what's, we're, Correct we, me if I'm we, wrong. We would be at the end of our road as an NFL player, if we were good enough to ever play in a professional league. Correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't Tom sign for two years, 60. So he signed for 30 million a year, right? When he went to Something Tampa. Like that. And then he's, and going, he's, he's restructuring he's going to this year, but like, it's like he, he signed a two year deal to make $12 million less a year than what Dak just got paid. I know Tom's old, but you can't tell me right now if Tampa said, Hey, we'll trade you Tom for Dak. Jerry wouldn't go yes right now. Yes. I just oh, um, do y'all want a fun fact? It's crazy. Do you want a fun fact that um, this is just like the next uh, Colin Kaepernick argument that comes up with Jamel Hill um, about how racist the NFL is? The top four highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL are all African Americans now. I thought Aaron was four. Is he five? I think he's five. Because you got Dak, Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes, Dak. Deshaun, and Russell Wilson. Deshaun is – oh. I didn't... God damn it. They're just mentioning him just <sighs> – fucking Texans. No, but like that, for the first time ever, the top four quarterbacks – top four highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL are – are all African American, so that is that is a first. That is progress. We wanted to see some progress. It's probably going to change soon, that. just because Aaron had said he wants to restructure. Aaron's going to get. Again, I mean, and so. Aaron Rodgers is going to get it a lot. And like one of the things about like that I can't hate. Like just I'm, pull I'm a Tom happy, Brady, and be like, just give me twenty a year. I'm happy Dak is going to get is is getting his pay oh, because he's going to stay there for a long time. The because he's going to stay there, and I don't want. I don't think he's going to win a Super Bowl. That's really what it comes down to. But like it's like when Eli got shit on for getting that hundred million dollar contract. It's like when you're not the best quarterback in the league, but you are a good quarterback in the league, or you are better than other quarterbacks in the league. And like if you want to keep a guy, you got to pay him when it's their turn. Like it was Eli's turn that time to get a hundred million dollar contract. He had just won a Super Bowl the year before that. It was like, why would you pay? I was like, because he was a Super Bowl MVP. Then he ended up winning a Super Bowl with that contract that everybody said was overpaid. So it's like that's just how quarterbacks work. It's also kind of yeah, but then everyone. Work. The counter to that is people go, okay, well, you pay them for what they've already done. Look what happened with Joe Flacco. He won the Super Bowl. He got paid. He never did anything again. But Joe Flacco bet on himself to the point to where it's like he just won us a fucking Super Bowl. Are we going to really back out of this? And there's very few right, times and you could that in a, got... in a league, in any league, really, in any league, you go off and you, you like. There's very few times you see like that guy get let, like just they let him walk. Actually, his Super Bowl run was pretty identical to Eli's, just in the fact that neither one of them had like spectacular regular Mediocre seasons that year, but they got to the playoffs. And he just knew when to win. They were lights. I, I think Joe went twelve and zero touchdowns, to interceptions in that uh, playoff run. And Eli's first one, he was like what uh, eleven and two, he eleven and one. He threw no interceptions oh, he, the whole time. What? He threw no interceptions. Oh, so yeah, Eli era, did it though. Post-season. Yeah. Yeah, so like it was identical. They both just played lights out, won it, and then got paid. But here's the thing: Dak has never done that, right? And I mean, until you do that, like obviously, like it's not easy to do that. It's the Nick Foles, the Nick Foles thing too, where it's like Nick Foles went off for the Eagles. Then a, a year after that, like when he became a free agent, he got fucking paid. 
or when he was traded or he got paid. But like, he twice. got he got his money He's because done that twice. It, it was like he just won the fucking Super Bowl, dude. How are we not going to give him money? And is Nick Foles a starting quarterback in the NFL? Yeah. Is he the best starting quarterback in the NFL? No. He's a starting quarterback. He He's not a good starting quarterback. No, because every time he starts, he sucks and he plays below the level. He plays like a backup. But he's still got a starter job. So like, I'm just saying they, they like, play better like you do under... pay people for previous things that they have done recently. It's a what have you done for me lately type league. So you're going to get guys paid that way. You can't really knock Dak for that. And especially like it could not have gone like no, like obviously you don't wish injury on anybody. Like the injury could, it was probably the best thing for Dak. Because the, yeah. like, let's be honest. If Dak Prescott is the quarterback of the Cowboys, I'm not saying that they, they, could, they probably could win the NFCs. They probably could have won the NFCs last year. But the Cowboys weren't going to be a 9-7 and seven team with Dak Prescott last year. I think the Cowboys were going to be around the level that they were. They might were. have been 9-7, just because I think they could have beat up on the division. Maybe. But it, everyone keeps saying, like, the biggest thing that they bring up is, look at the numbers he was putting up when he went down. Oh, you mean ones that were basically identical to what Russell Wilson was doing? How did Russell finish the year? When you've got right. no de- – and Russell had a better people, defense. When and, you've got and, no and defense COVID and you're always airing it out, with, with your no numbers pre-season. get inflated. But also, people like, yeah, your numbers get inflated. Defenses. Yeah, but then, yeah, as the league, uh, year goes on, other defenses figure shit out. So you've got no defense to stop anyone. Other defense figure you out even though you're on the field more. Dax numbers would have dipped. Like, nobody keeps up that level of production. You just fucking don't. Like, it was above even what Mahomes And the Cowboys did weren't a good year. team last year. The Cowboys weren't, weren't a good team. So it's not like the Cowboys aren't going to go 12 and four and win the Super Bowl with Dak last year. But because he was injured, he was removed. And it's like, it's sometimes it's like, hey, those guys fucking suck though, right? Like <laughs> Andy Dalton, not Dak Prescott. No. Dick, Dick Danucci, whatever his name is. Ben Danucci. Ben Danucci. Ben Danucci. Ben Danucci, not Dak Prescott. Like, Cooper because Rush they, even got some playing time, didn't he? Cooper Rush, yeah, not Dak Prescott. Like, but because they had to see such hot garbage at quarterback, not that Andy Dalton's hot garbage, hot garbage, but because they had to go through those other guys, Cooper Rush and Danucci, it was just like, fuck, please just, just give Dak what he wants. Just give him that. Like, I think that helped him with his negotiations. Like, did you guys fucking see what happened to us? I think they were what? Oh, they were definitely. two and two with him? I mean. They, they, they weren't a win. They didn't have a winning record with him. I thought they were one and three. Well, okay, well they, I, like they weren't great with him, so that's what I'm saying. Like, yes, his stats were great, but like it's Matt Stafford stats too. I think Matt Stafford's a great quarterback. I think he, I think Matt, I would take Matt Stafford in his prime over Dak right now. I don't know about Matt. Stafford Without now, a doubt. Without but, like, a doubt, because he Matt can Matt Stafford hit put players. up so many numbers because the the Lions would be trailing by 14 in the fourth quarter, so all he was doing is airing it out. Yeah, it's you're why gonna I picked him up put up every stats. single year in fantasy football. You're gonna put up stats that way. I think Dak was putting up some great stats. But stats are fun. They're not as fun as a win column. Like the win column is a totally different thing. Like you have so there's there's times where a guy throws for 450 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, and they lose the game. It is I, nobody gives a shit about your stats, dude. I care about wins. That's why I love Eli. Eli was not a stats guy. Dak, he fucking won a, when it mattered, though. He's great for you for fantasy football, especially because the Cowboys defense sucks and they can never keep a lead, so they got to keep throwing. Now, when you want to win in the playoffs, Dak is not who you want to understand. Right. Unless every like. other person on your team is healthy and playing to the highest level. Exactly. And I feel like we're just talking around is. ourselves in circles, but Dak Prescott, comeback kid, congrats to him. So to reiterate, ha ha, Jerry Jones has fucked you guys for four Fuck years. The Cowboys. Um, our next comeback kid is Twitch Streams. Twitch Streams. Now, Pat, we did a Twitch stream on Friday. We were playing a little Call of Duty with the boys. You had one of your buddies. We won't name him, but he is Jewish. He is a Jewish person. And he, I did not know this at the time, but he made a Jewish joke. It wasn't offensive or anything. And I was like, hey, 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 yeah. hey. Like on the stream, it's easy to get caught up playing games and to say shit with your boys. And I, I don't know him as well as you know him. So I was, my, my senses were a little heightened. And I was like, okay, whoa okay chill out like he but he was making a joke about himself at that like time and i was like i didn't know he was jewish so like, hey let's leave race and religion out of the stream please can we please not talk about race or religion on the twitch stream and he was like oh, oh, okay even if i am jewish i was like i understand just 
let's not chance it. If only Myers Leonard had been watching that stream on Friday night, he might have saved himself some time because Myers Leonard, I think it was yesterday, he was doing a Twitch stream. He was playing Call of Duty and like I, he didn't, I don't even remember what your friend said, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't even no, bad. It, I don't know. I, I think he, yeah, it, it, like it wasn't even a joke. It wasn't offensive. He just mentioned, he might have just straight up said the word Jew. I think he not, did. Not I, even like you're being a, not even right, like that. I think right. he just said something about Jew. And, and, uh, and I, that's just, what like, I don't know. I'm, I was being an asshole. I felt like because he was like, "Whoa, oh, okay, dude." And I was no, like, you just, weren't. You're just, just playing it. Fucking, come on, Pat. We gotta, we gotta take the stream down. Delete the stream. I just don't know. Like with what people get mad about all the time nowadays is like I have no idea. It could go, but like because we're on the stream, I don't want to get canceled for what somebody else says. You know, I can only control Better what safe I than say. Sorry. Um, and and there was nothing against him at all. We still we we played with him on the stream for the rest of the time. And there were no issues or anything like that. But like Myers Leonard dropped a hard K, a hard k which the hardest k repeat, obviously heard. if you don't know what it is it is a extremely offensive term for jewish people he said that and it was like you fucking stupid son of a bitch whatever blah 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 blah, blah k word so, fucking suck that or whatever it was like it was he had killed somebody on call of duty that i guess it just got him no and, someone and, shot him he's like you're gonna snipe at me you Oh, okay well i thought he got him okay yeah i don't it doesn't matter the, the context doesn't matter because he said it and then you could tell that like, he was like, yeah, blah, 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 K word, blah, 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 blah. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. We're doing like, then he just kind of picked it again, but he had that little pause where you're like, you could see the wheels in his head. Like, oh, no. Oh, I hope that didn't uh, come through uh, clear. Uh oh. And then uh, his wife, quote unquote, called him. Um, I'm not saying he doesn't have a wife. I'm just saying that definitely was not his wife. It was either one of his buddies or his like agent like, PR person. It was like, hey, dude um a lot of people talking about what you just said on the twitch stream maybe turn that off and he's like i gotta go guys my wife needs me and just just signed off so that obviously circulates the video of it if it gets deleted is still screen capped and grabbed and all that and everybody has it and then just it was a shit storm for him he is out for the remainder of the season with an injury he's not going to like i think his contract is up at the end of the season for the heat he has he's done now, been removed from team activities and told to stay away from the team while they do an investigation. The investigation seems like it's a pretty open shut investigation. Cause like there's people that I feel like you, you look back at old things that people say and wh whether you agree with it or not, like, it, like people used to say different things. If you watch the office in the first season of the office, they throw around the F word, the hard F word. And uh, uh, Michael does that. He said that I think the three letter F word. Yes um it's what british people call cigarettes, cigarettes but um shortened and michael says that about oscar at one point um in, in a jokey way and at the time it was looked at as joking but then as we progress as a society we realize hey that is something that's offensive to somebody and when i try and tell them that it doesn't mean what i like, i'm not here to tell them what it means i shouldn't be the person that tells like I, i'm i'm not allowed to choose what it means to other people he said that regardless of if you think he meant it or not he said it so fucking easily that's a word that he says a lot it and seems hard. like and did you did you see his apology he acted like he didn't know what it meant yeah he goes I, i'm sorry I, I did not know what that word meant that's just insulting to everyone's intelligence that, that are you fucking kidding me that's no, the, it, I got it, hat it is excuse. not it is not a hugely used slur as much as other slurs are used but everyone knows what that means. It's not okay. And like, you're not using that word if you don't know what it were. It's not just some slang that you picked up from your buddies. No, yeah. you know, you know. And you fucked yourself too, because now I, I would have to assume he's going to lose his Twitch channel. He's not he going to get another job in the NBA. Uh, uh, have not. fun in Europe, buddy, because that's the only place that shit is going to, or I'm not going to say that shit's going to fly. But it's the only place anyone's going to hire you to play basketball again. Because you average three NBA points job. a year, yeah. or three points a game this year, and six for your career. Bye. Not great. Uh, it was just like, but you do, like, I'm, I'm not justifying what he's saying, but it's like, that is the hardest part of, like, doing this, like, when we're streaming on Twitch. It's like, because I don't just throw around curse words and shit like that. But, like, when, like, 
you're like motherfucking shit. Like I, I can say that, but like if I was throwing out slurs, like if I was a person that used slurs, like yeah, that shit would come out eventually on Twitch because you just kind of forget. You get sucked into the game. You're not paying attention to it. like, oh yeah, I'm also streaming. Yeah, you're gonna get those like the people that are casually dropping that. You're gonna get those people on Twitch streams. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Forgot that. I'm not giving him an excuse or anything like that. But it's like, dude, fucking terrible look. And just the fact that we had even joked about it with your friend that like, hey, let's not talk race or religion on the pod or on, on the on the stream. It was just like, dude, that like four days later, like somebody straight up just got like their and career ended because of when it. they weren't even talking about it, he just used it. And you're like, oh, you. And he was like, I'm lot. Jewish. I was like, I didn't know that man, but like, no, not everybody. Like, we don't know oh, the context of oh, what anybody says. And oh, like, oh, I thought you were saying Myers Leonard said that he was Jewish. I was like, there's no, 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 no way no, no, he no. doesn't know what that. No, was. no. You and your buddy was but saying that. My no. buddy, he actually. So I talked about this with him yesterday, and he goes, you know, honestly, I've never been called that in my life. He goes, so I haven't really heard the word. He's like, of course, everyone knows what it is. He goes, but watching that video, he was like, he said he physically like recoiled hearing it. Like, oh, that's not good. Like, fuck, dude. How do you just drop that? And again, it's not up to anybody else to determine how other people are allowed to feel about words, especially hate speech like that. Um, and it, it, it's just like, dude, that was, that was not okay. It's not okay. The NBA is doing like the investigation is like, what are you doing? Watching the video? Like, I don't, I don't know what else they got to do. My, but, my, yeah. my, my, my favorite thing about it though, was the, the, you know, they came out uh, immediately. He's suspended from the team. All that shit came out right away. Matthew Barry, who, uh, if you guys don't know, he's a fantasy football specialist for ESPN. He tweeted out the report that he's in, immediately suspended, blah, 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 all this shit. He's away from the team tagged the NFL and the Eagles in it and was like, see, this is how it's done. Immediate action, not taking a week and then doing nothing. Funny how we heard that uh, Deshaun Jackson was going to be uh, put into like education protocols. We never heard another thing about it. Did we, hmm? what's going on with that? And just called them out immediately. Or what? Like, cause, they, cause the um, same Cooper... shit happened. Cooper rush. Yeah. But the same shit no, happened Cooper with rush. the Eagles or not Cooper rush. Um, Tim Tebow's extra mate. Receiver. Riley Cooper. Not Cooper. Riley Cooper, yeah. Riley but Cooper. he yeah, he dropped the hard end. And it was just like like how did the NFL fumble both of those so bad? Like, no, immediately, bam, you're suspended for a year. You're fucking done. Like it's yeah. it's that simple. You can't do that. And and Deshaun didn't really correct me if I'm wrong. Jackson, he didn't really uh drop a slur word. He just we repeated bad some about shit people. that's very anti-Jewish. That's also what Nick Cannon did as well. And I think he got removed for a little bit and then he came back. But uh we're not like again, I, I am not a big cancel culture guy at all. It's just like that's one of those like just specifically because if you were watching the Twitch live at that point and like I was like, yeah, we were just kind of like joking, like, let's not say these things, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. And then it happened a couple of days later. It was just like that's definitely gonna make the comeback kid. We're gonna talk about that for a little bit. Do X Files music because that's spooky. <laughs> which is not X Files, but we don't want to get caught we don't want to get called up for copyright so um yeah twitch streams comeback kid and then your last comeback kid you put leaks explain oh, yeah. leaks i like a good leak story every now and then oh man I, there's nothing that feels better than a good leak but uh so apparently i think it was monday morning or sunday one of the, one of those days if you went on hbo max and tried to turn on tom and jerry you got surprised by uh, the Zack Snyder cut of the Justice League, which isn't supposed to come out for like another week, I think. Somehow, somebody embedding it in the system fucked up and just fully leaked the movie. And it was up for a couple hours. Of course, you know, then it got taken down. They figured that shit out quick. But so I'm pissed because I wish I had heard about it right away because I would have immediately watched that movie. I can't wait for it. I'm super jacked up. It looks like it's actually going to be a good movie, whereas the Justice League they released was okay it wasn't that good but the storyline was not what it was supposed to be obviously Zack Snyder had to step away because I think his daughter died or got really sick so he couldn't finish the movie but yeah I mean I don't know who fucked that up but they probably well, got fired like Robert I think and I kind of get a little bit of that where like we don't really have like that kind of power to, like upload like movies or anything like that but like like, you know, Robert and I both work at iHeartRadio and we have like access to like multiple accounts and stuff like that. So it's like, I have definitely like 
retweeted or like like i posted on the rod ryan show accidentally thinking it was mine I'm like, oh shit no and it was like not ever anything bad but it's like some like tweet that i'm talking about the giants and it's like oh nope i'm still on the rod ryan show like oh, oops they're like, like for like four people were probably like what the hell was why does rod care about the giants but like like robert you you i'm sure you've had that like that fear and it's not even it's just like always in the back of my head, like, oh, man, I really hope I posted that to the right thing. Like, I really hope I don't post past the gravy to the Rod Ryan show feed. And then somebody's like, where's our, where's the Rod Ryan show podcast? Not this idiot talking about Dak Prescott's contract. And it's like, but I know I don't have like exclusive content like that, <laughs> you know? And if, yeah. if you accidentally release that instead of the Rod Ryan show podcast. Yeah. And for me, it's like, I manage like the all six stations, right. And different show pages. <laughs> so I got to make sure I'm posting the right thing on the right place. And, you know, it's just, it is stressful sometimes thinking back in my like, Oh, like I'm going to triple check that, that this is the right page that I'm sharing this to, or, you know, it's not like, <laughs> yeah. It's just, and a lot of times you're under like a bunch of stress of, Hey, we need you to post this and this and this and this and this mm -hmm. and this. And it's like, I'm sure that guy was just like, okay, well, I'm going to upload Tom and Jerry. And then I got to upload this. And then, and then he like grabbed the wrong file from his computer or whatever. Was like, oh, fuck okay and like but he he thought he uploaded it so then he moved on to his next task and then it was until somebody said something oh no oops Damn. i've got an idea for uh twitter there should be an option that you should be able to turn on or off if you have to manage multiple accounts or depending on how many accounts you have logged in or that you have access to sign in when you go to hit post on something it should say you want to post to this account right now which it could get annoying so you can turn it off if you want but if you're managing six different accounts i think that would help it is it's an idea. Uh, that's that's a free idea for you at Jack. Yeah. No, honestly, the new Twitter, the way that they mo they updated on like mobile, like that is the hardest part because like Twitter, like you can see your thing, and then when you're on the tweet, when you're tweeting it, it doesn't always like show up in your icon. And so it's like, I think that's it. And I've tweeted, I think last week I tweeted from Past the Gravy accidentally, thinking I was tweeting from my own personal account, and then I had to go delete it. Or like I'll share a meme for Past the Gravy from my account. I'm like, and then I like look and it's like, oh cool, I got 200 likes or whatever on this, and it's like, oh no, that was a Past the Gravy. <laughs> well, I did, people didn't just all of a sudden find my page and start liking everything that I had posted. Uh, so leaks, <coughs> leaks are back. Let's move on to our uh, our next segment the what would jesus do segment so i don't know if you guys have your uh mock draft of royals stuff ready to go so if you got your little cheat sheets ready uh make sure that that's coming up next that's coming up next and i'm pretty excited about this week's mock draft uh but let's get into the what would jesus do segment where you know we had those bracelets growing up that said wwjd it never told you what jesus would do in the situation so we have, have given you the task of asking us what Jesus would do, we will then, you know, we'll, we'll figure out an answer. Throw Jesus in a situation in today's times. Hashtag PTG WWJD to at pass the gravy pod. I'm at Alex J. Middleton. Pat's at not Pat Deanna. And Robert is at Robert Barbosa 03. Hashtag PTG WWJD to at pass the gravy pod. This is the What Would Jesus Do segment. Jesus, Jesus, what would Jesus do? Jesus, Jesus, what would Jesus do? Put him in a situation in a matter of time If you're on the stream, do you think he'd make it rhyme? So think about this crazy world in which we live today And how would Jesus handle it in any given way? This week's What Would Jesus Do comes to us from my good buddy Dave T at PPWL1 on Twitter. Dave says, would JC get a PS5 or Xbox Series X? Would he use his influencer status to get one before everyone else? I would have to assume that both of them would probably send it to Jesus just to try and get him to talk about it. Like he would be the, one of the biggest influencers of all time. Yeah, like he if wouldn't he have to use it. Like they would just straight up send him one. And then he would give the PS5 away because it's trash and he would go with Xbox. Right, we go Xbox. He's, he, we're an Xbox family. Yeah. For the first time ever, the Xbox is more powerful than the same gen PlayStation. So I'm going to go with, I always say Xbox anyway. I would always go Xbox but, um, as well. Now I actually have the uh, backing and stats. Robert's a PlayStation guy, though. I'm going to say PlayStation. He goes PlayStation. Well, you got outvoted, so. <laughs> uh -huh. why, why would he go PlayStation? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. For like... Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> MLB The Show? Nope, that's on Xbox now, too. Oh. Yep. Spy the Spider-Man to... game? 
Spider-Man. You've got, yeah, you you've got Spider-Man. Spider-Man. We've got we've got Halo. Like, do you have Halo, Halo though? Anymore. Do you have Halo though? Wasn't it yes. supposed to come out already? And well, the pandemic pushed it, pushed it back. It's going to come back, come out right. uh, this uh, holiday that. season, 2021. Holiday season, like time. five months away. Then we'll never see Pat again. <laughs> oh, you'll see me. You'll see me online on the Twitch. <laughs> it's going to be streaming Halo 24 seven. So I think that's a pretty easy one, though. Like it's Xbox. It's Xbox. It's Xbox. Because X, if you turn it sideways, kind of looks like a cross. It does. Which is his symbol. Yep. Yep. So there we go. He would reclaim that. And also, if you think about it, he's Xing out our sins. That's true. The Xbox would also. But I don't know if you, if you can see this. This symbol, this X symbol, focus the camera, is known as the cross. Yeah. Uh, this is not the current gen controller, but see that? That's also an X. That's also an X. That's And, and it's yeah, but, on the Xbox. But, but that's the that's known as the X on PlayStation. This button is not known as X. It's known as the cross. Well, we could so, call it the cross. The literal symbol of Xbox is a cross. So there you go. So there you go. Boom. Two to one. Boom. Very, the very rare Alex <laughs> and Pat against Robert. Plus, debate. you know, Microsoft is an American company. Everyone knows Jesus is an American. All right. I'm pretty sure he is from Israel. Uh, have you ever heard the song God Bless the USA? Yeah, God Bless the USA. You ever heard God Bless Canada? I haven't heard that song. God Bless Texas. Hmm? You know where that is? Hmm? The USA? Yeah. I haven't heard the song God Bless Iceland. All right. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah, I guess you got me there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like my Jesus to be American, and he likes to party. All right. Uh, all right. He that is was a, pretty quick. He is an Anglo-Saxon Christian Jesus. <laughs> now you're getting into, like preacher voice. <laughs> no, just ignorant redneck voice. Um. Okay, that was that was a pretty quick one. Hashtag PTGWWJD. We're so running said- out of these. We're running low on these. Hit us up at Pass Gray Pod when we're done with your submissions. We are done with WWJD. The segment's gone. It's gone for good. So keep sending some submissions in if you want us to keep doing this segment. Um, and thank you, buddy, for uh, at PPWL. Thank Thanks, you. Dave. Yeah, dude, that was tight. Uh, yeah, you didn't include a like full last name. So Dave T. Um, Hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> um, why don't we get to the mock draft season or mock draft segment brought to you by our good friends at Southern Star Brewing Company. Pat, would you do me the honors of telling our good friends about Southern Star Brewing Company? I would love to I do think that. We're, I think we're, are we going up there this weekend? I mean, I'm down. I got nothing I, else I, going on. I think we're going up there this weekend. I, so, yeah. So if you guys want, I think me and Alex are going to head up there mid afternoon on Saturday to go see our good friends at Southern Star Brewing Company. Right now I'm drinking a delicious Southern Star Strawberry Bombshell. Uh, Alex, I believe, is drinking the uh, Metzli Pecan Stout. This is a beer for everyone. You don't like beer? We'll find a beer that suits you. You do like beer? We'll find 12 beers that suit you. Every beer you're going to love. Uh, I don't want to break it. Alex was uh, mentioning a little bit before. I'll let him, once he gets back, I'll let you tell you about what the Garland Like a Marlin is going to be. Apparently, we're not getting the Golden Bock. It's going to be something else. Sounds phenomenal. Uh, but this weekend up at Southern Star, they are having their – hold on, let me pull it up real quick. I was not prepared for this. I believe we're getting a sour. I told you. Uh, we, we were testing out uh, another uh, another software before the podcast, and we were like, all right, exclusive. But now I'm telling you on the podcast, so it's not as exclusive as it was. It was exclusive yeah, so at the time. This Saturday at noon, they're having their 13th anniversary up at wow. Southern Star. Lucky number 13. Just, just absolutely beautiful. Um, like I said, it starts at noon, 3525 North Fraser Street, Conroe, Texas. Free admission, guys. We've told you so much about it. If you haven't been up there yet, this is the go. time to go up there. We're just going to be hanging out. We don't have any responsibilities to do this weekend. Get yourself the tour. Hopefully, Ben is doing the tour. I mean, I'm sure if anybody else does it, they do it great. I love Ben. Ben's a funny guy. I think Ben's he gives one of the best tours of any tour I've ever been on ever. in my life. 
but yeah, I, I think they're uh, they're saying is beer for people who like beer. Like I said, if you don't like beer, we'll find a beer that you. I'm telling you, the strawberry, you'll like this. That's the best Absolutely beer of all time. Delicious. Best beer of all time until obviously the darn like a Marlin, which will be canned as well. And then, not official, but I'm really wanting to do this. If they're gonna give us a beer. They've invited us out to do a live podcast that weekend. Now it would be like a special Monday episode. We'll record over the weekend and then we'll just kind of do it. It'll be a quick podcast there. We'll do it live. Then we will fucking tap the motherfucking beers. And like, you know, like everything's opening back up right now. We'll be, I, I'm pro- I'm still wearing face masks around. I'll wear the face mask when. Yes, me too. Around. Uh, not that I don't, I don't judge you either way, but um I feel like like if they're gonna give us a beer, we gotta do a live podcast up there. Yes. It's like, yeah, dude. And do yeah, it. It's our darling like a marlin. It's gonna be darling like a marlin. I'll tell you that much. And so, you know what's gonna be darling like a marlin is Saturday. I can't wait. We're gonna go up there. I want. I can't try. The, I can't wait to try that new Hop Wave IPA. That looks amazing, and I've heard nothing but great reviews from that. There's some of everybody at Southern Star, like Pat was just telling you, three five two five North Fraser Street. We will see you up there this Saturday. Today is the 10th, 11th, 12th, the 13th on the 13th for the 13th anniversary. Mm-hmm. Perfect. We'll see you on the 13th for the 13th anniversary, 3525 North Fraser Street up in Congo. When you go up there, let them know you're part of the gravy gang. They'll get it. They'll get it. Like, yo, part of the gravy gang. And they're like, what is that? And you're like, it's a ladle. It's an invisible ladle. I'm ladling. We'll work on a, we'll work on like a Jeep wave. We don't have a Jeep wave down yet, but we'll figure a Jeep wave type thing out for a pass. <laughs> Like bad surfing? Isn't this the Jeep wave? It's just like two fingers. No, yeah, but I want to. I want to do that. It's a little shimmy. Yeah. Yeah, you guys gotta watch. You'll get it if you know, you know. Uh, (laughs) But we'll see you this weekend up at the brewery, three hundred two five North Fraser Street, up in Conroe, Southern Star Brewing Company, the best beer in the entire world. If you're enjoying a Southern Star. Tag them at Southern Star BC at Southern Star Brewing Co. on Twitter and Instagram. Tag us at Pass Great Pod. Let them know you support the people supporting the podcast. Southern Star Brewing Co. the best beer in the entire world. The official presenting sponsor of Mock Draft Susan, which begins now. Last week, we will recap that. We had a mock draft of masks, and it was a pretty tight vote. I won yet again 38% of the vote. Pat just narrowly finished in second with 34 percent, and then robert not too far behind at 28 percent of the vote i want to say the other like the first week was also a pretty close one too yeah no oh. the week before it was one percent off you had uh uh 39 i had uh what did you just say i had shit so i had one percent more you had one percent. Like, yeah you had 39 i had 33 robert stayed at 28 so robert's consistent consistency is key the consistency is key so this week because of all the royal family talk we, and we, we have, i looked it up we have done a mock draft of kings before we've done a mock draft of kings but not a mock draft of royals which incorporates queens princesses princes anything like that all incorporated to wide open draft mock draft of royals Robert's going to go first since he finished third, Pat second, and me third. It will go, it's not a snake draft, so it's going to go Robert, Pat, me, Robert, Pat, me, Robert, Pat, me, Robert, Pat, me. With the first overall pick in the mock draft of Royals, where are you going, Robert? Honestly, I think this is really hard to pick uh, to go first because there's just so many oh, different. I had a number one. You did? I didn't have one. I had a number one. Okay. Okay. Half. Never mind. Never mind. This is this just just hard for me. Though. No, but there's it's there's there's three. I feel like you could be going with. I mean, it's our like, number ones could be different. That very that's very true. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Tiger King. That's a good one. I'm gonna take I, Tiger ooh. King. I have that on my short list. I did not think it was gonna go in the first round. I thought I was gonna maybe get a steal in the second with it. That's a good pick. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. That's with about you. a year ago this week. We were introduced to Joe Exotic and that whole docu series. That one wasn't even. I don't wow. know how I missed Tiger King. It's it's been <laughs> wow. a year, but in this year's terms, that means it's been basically five years since that came out. So it was you know out of sight. Out of, even though I did just talk recently about wanting to rewatch it. <laughs> All right, this was my clear number one. Queen. The band Queen. One. That was my number one, too. That's a good one. I'd say I mean, that one didn't even come to my mind. 
Yeah, I mean, I like this morning as I started to go to like every like twenty minutes, another one would come up, and I'd be like, "How the fuck did I not think of this already?" Like Queen was the fourth one that came to mind for me. All right, so mine. Crazy. Um, this was my number two overall. I also had Queen as my first. Would would have been would have been my first pick. Uh, I'm gonna go Prince. Mm-hmm. That was on my I, list too. I think Prince belongs yeah. up there. Yeah, so Prince. Tiger King, Queen, Prince, Robert, back to you. First pick in the second round. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go the King of Rock, Elvis. Mm, good one. That's really good. I had him on my list as well. That's a good pick. Very good pick, Bobby Joe. Yeah, I think round two, this is where it's going to really start getting difficult. To separate um, the men from the boys. Kings and the Queens as well. Mm, yes, the princes, princes and from the princesses, princesses and the and the princes duchesses. from the paupers. <laughs> oh man, um, shit. All right, I get. I think I gotta go with King Kong. King Kong's a good one. King Kong, man, he's hot mm-hmm. right now. He's got he's got a new movie coming out. Um, King Kong is a great one. I think mine is going to be better because I'm taking Princess Motherfucking Leia. Mm. Princess Leia, my favorite pr- princess personally, but uh, Princess Leia from Star Wars. Why would you not go with that one? That is a good one. Well, that just gave me an idea. I had completely uh, skip my mind. I'm gonna go Princess Peach. That's a good princess one. Princess Peach too. is a good one. That's a very good one. Princess Peach from Mario. Uh, and that's just we're not picking specific Marios, it's just Princess Peach. In general, you get all. Mm-hmm. Um, so Tiger King, Elvis, Princess Peach, that's a solid little group. I think all of our, like, I'm excited because I think this is going to be the strongest, like, four for each of us. Yeah. Like, it'll, it'll be a tough vote. Uh, Pat, what do you got? I'm a little surprised this is still here. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turn up, so- I'm taking the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, baby. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Big that's Willie style, dog. I didn't know how long I could sing before we got copyrighted. <laughs> no, you're good. I don't think they're going to think it sounded like it. So <laughs> you're pretty Rude. set. Rude. Um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Good. Good on that one. Um, hmm. I don't know. King of the Hill. King of the Hill. King of the Hill. I think had that on there. We had yeah. Hank Hill mm-hmm. not too long ago. I think King of the no, Hill. No, Peggy Hill. Go- Peggy Hill. You're right. King of the Hill is going to be my pick. We should have done one where you had to pick a king, a queen, a prince, and a princess. I was thinking about that, but it's like, I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm, it, it I'm one really... away, and honestly, I'm looking at one right now that I might end up doing that. I'm one away of, as well of that. Maybe I do that. Yeah, maybe I do. And then you guys just vote for me because I played by that rule. All right, uh, Robert, back to you. Your final pick of the draft. Ooh, this I'm going to go. One. This is a very tough one. There, I have so many on my list that uh, are still available. But I think I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. The, okay, so our audience is a little older, so maybe they know this one. I'm gonna go Jerry the King Lawler. Oh, Ooh. I fucking had him on there. <laughs> that was the, the second. King. That was the second name that came to my mind when we started doing this this morning, dude. I love it, bro. Great this might pick, be problematic Robert. nowadays, Great but when pick. when Sable would come out. And just have cleavage everywhere, and he would yell "puppies." That was the funniest thing <laughs> in the world to me as a kid. That was the funniest fucking thing ever. Oh, Jerry and Jr. Man, what a team they made. That's a good one. All right, I'm between three right here, and I think I'm gonna go with the one that gives me one of each. I'm gonna go with the Princess Bride. Princess Bride, yep, I had that on my Ooh, Great movie. Oh, oh, it's a great movie. I mean, there's there's two others that I kind of wanted to take above it, but once I noticed the only thing missing was Princess, I really wanted to take it. Give myself a nice little, uh, nice little bit of diversity there. Princess Bride, off the board, that's a Which, by the way, one. watch the movie. It's fucking great. I only watched it the first time a couple of years ago. It's, I mean, it lives up to the hype. It's fucking great. And it's got Andre the Giant. I don't know. There's so many that I could pick from right here. I feel like I gotta go with Michael Jackson, the King of Pop. It's a great one. 
It's a good Michael Jackson, one. the king of pop. Uh, as like the last pick, that's a steal. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised Lion King didn't go. That's who I was thinking of instead of Jerry King Lawler. I thought maybe Lion King, but yeah, Lion King. The here's the other one I was really, I almost honest, honestly, I almost took this one in the second round and I'm not taking it. The original Kings of Comedy. Yeah, that wouldn't have won. Bernie. Oh, dude. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying it wouldn't have been a worthy pick. It just, I don't think people would have voted. It it was Bernie Cedric. Um, why can't I? I just had the third one. I was gonna ask who the fourth one was. I, no, hold on. I'm sorry. I got to Google it. You, say your honorable mentions while I look this up because it's going to drive me yeah. nuts. Yeah, oh, let me recap this dra- the draft, though. So our yeah, do that first. mock draft of Royals, Robert had Tiger King, Elvis, the King of Rock, Princess Peach from Mario and Jerry, the King, Lawler, Pat had Queen, the band, King Kong, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and the Princess Bride movie. I had Prince, Princess Leia, King of the Hill and Michael Jackson. If I had gone King of Queens, I would have had all of them. Yeah, I King of Queens was one I was looking but at. I just didn't it, feel like I was going to get it the hit votes. both. Uh, it was Steve Harvey, D.L. Hughley, Cedric, and Bernie Mac. That makes sense. Fucking D.L. great. Was, was great. Um, um, so honorable mentions. Um, I really like. I wasn't going to pick this at all, but I just thought it'd be funny if I went back to back. Princess Diana, because people seemed to really like her, and then Princess mm-hmm. Diana, the Beanie Baby. Oh yeah, dude, <laughs> like, the Beanie Baby. I got two Princess Dianas right there. Uh, Queens of the Stone Age. That was I had that. I had that too. Um, uh, Bo Jackson. He played for the Royals. He did. Uh, George I, I, Brett. I really wanted to take him. George Brett would have. I had been two the that I thought Royal might have take. been might have been controversial. Because technically they're not they're not royals, but they're part of the royal court. I had the Joker by Steve Miller Band, and yeah, then I don't Joker, think we would that. Joker and the Thief by Wolf Mother. I mean, they're part of the royal court, right? And then the Joker from Batman. <laughs> I didn't want it. It's problematic. I had um, I had Dancing Queen. That's good. Oh, oh good. Uh, Elton John and Paul McCartney. They were knighted, so that's kind of royal. Oh. <laughs> we I thought you were going to go somewhere else with that. Uh, Aquaman, Black Panther, they're kings. I didn't know that. MLK. Oh, I should have got my <laughs> shit. Cancel us. That would have, yeah, that would have been a good one. Um, I had. Uh, when, when you're king playing Cake. checkers. Oh, King Cake is good. King Me. Cinderella. When you're playing checkers. Um, go off, King. Just saying that. And then Yas Queen, I had that also as an honorable <laughs> mention. Um, Ozzy Osbourne, the the Prince of Darkness. Mm, that fuck, how did I not think of that one? Uh, King size candy bars. I was really considering taking that as my final pick, just because like, oh, who doesn't like King size candy great. bars? Those are great. Wayne Gretzky played for the LA Kings. I feel like that would have been cheating, though. You might have just. I mean, you're I, taking I, Bo I Jackson. Have to accept it. No, I'm saying <laughs> just Wayne Gretzky's. I like this one because it was just so open, just like Royals. It was right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that's what I was excited about. Like it's it, none of uh, us, none of us took a fucking player for the Royals. <laughs> <laughs> well, because yeah, like, I don't know how many people are gonna identify with George Brett, Queen Latifah. Ooh. Had her. I had her. Um, Burger King, Dairy Queen, Smoothie King, also. Queen Amidala. And Ariel, from. Little what, what, what was the Egyptian queen's name? <laughs> I want to say Nefertiti, no but that's not right. Probably King. You Tut. know she she no she banged uh, Caesar. What was her fucking name? Miss Caesar. Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Cleopatra would have been good. Yeah. Notice that we none of us took anybody that was actually like royalty though. Besides, because like, as we said earlier, cartoons. who gives a right. shit? We don't really know them or care. So that was our mock draft of Royals. We will post the graphic on Friday at 1:30. You can then vote through the rest of the entire weekend and crown a winner. That will determine how we do it. And what did we say we're doing the mock draft of next week? Damn it, <laughs> Robert! This is what happens when you're late. No, we talked about it. We literally just, just talked about it. We just talked about it. Talk about the most likable people. Most likable people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Write that yes. down so we don't forget that. Write that down. So Got it. I'm on it. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. So uh, Tiger King, Elvis, Princess Peach, and Jerry the King Lawler for Robert. Queen, King Kong, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and Princess Bride for Pat. Prince, Princess Leia, King of the Hill, and Michael Jackson, the King of Pop for me. Solid mock draft, everybody. Would it be funnier if we did the least likable people? We could do both. Let's say, yeah. One week we do one, the next week we do the other. Okay, because that one can get I think really least funny likable is really more dark. subjective. Like, like Hitler gets I don't think, one, right? I think I, off the top of my head, I can come up with a list that does not include William A. Or not William H. Macy, but uh, uh, what's his name? G- John, Wayne, John Gacy. Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy. Like, I can leave murderers off of this list and come up with a fire list off the top of my head. I don't know what that mm-hmm. says about me. It says you really like bad people. <laughs> it says I know a lot. God damn it. Say. That's not better. That's not better that I know a lot of bad people. I don't know them, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't on the island, okay? Uh, sure you weren't, buddy. <laughs> sure. All right, um, let's move fun. on to the... That was a lot of fun. That was probably my favorite one we've done so far this year of, of the three we've done. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, hashtag PTG Mock Draft at Past Gravy Pod. Now let's move on to the Not Cool segment brought to you by our good friends at Alamo Remedy CBD, the best CBD in all of the land i was going ham on some alamo remedy cbd i feel like i've gotten hurt playing soccer like the last two weeks this week i uh rolled my ankle i had the, uh, an old a good old-fashioned like hard ankle roll that like for three days just fucked up my ankle it was a lot of fun uh but luckily i had alamo remedies cucumber melon lotion rubbed that on that bad boy and over those couple of days it healed right up feels a lot better and um yeah that was pretty great that i mean it sucked but it was pretty great to have some alamo remedy to fall back on they also have the gummies that are awesome they have the tincture oils you can put that under your tongue in the morning and they just have the capsules as well they also have the hemp flower that you can smoke it's not got any thc in it it just gives you a mellow kind of chilled out vibe it'll uh relax you you won't be stressed out but you're also able to function you know if you're smoking a little that hot leaf you go out in public people you're like "Ah, everybody knows Everybody knows when you have some of the hemp flower, you're like, I can go do my taxes. Like I'm ready to do this and I can talk to everybody and I'm fine. Like you, you're good to go. Alma Remedy CBD, the best CBD in all the land. Use the promo code PTG at checkout at almoremedy.com. Promo code PTG, you're gonna get 10% off of your order. We're gonna get a notification. We'll give you a shout out on the next podcast. Promo code PTG at checkout at alamoremedy.com. Tag them when you get your order, when you make your order, Alamo Remedy and at Alamo Remedy CBD on Twitter and Instagram. Let them know you're supporting the people supporting the podcast. Alamo Remedy, best CBD in the world. The official CBD sponsor of Past the Great Podcast. This is the not cool segment, guys, where you just kind of vent. It's our time to vent what happened to you this last week that made you say, hey, man, that's not cool. You know, if if Pat ran over me with his car, that would be a not cool. If I stubbed my toe in the middle and I get up to go to the bathroom, also a not cool. So it's a varying degree of just what makes you say, hey, man, that's not cool. Hit us up, hashtag PTG not cool to at pass the gravy pod on Twitter. This, guys, is the not cool segment. Not cool, man. Dude, that's not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Dude, that's not cool. Not cool, man. Dude, that's not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Dude, that's not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Uh, I got two not cools. I'll start us off with for our not cools. First one, fucking Houston Dynamo, dude. Like, tell me, Pat. Tell me. How much love do I show the Houston Dynamo? More than about 80% of their fans, I would say. So, you, you uh, yeah, 20%. the 12 fans that show up to the fucking game. Okay, sorry. Um, do I tr- Should I be their keeper? I don't know. Did you guys lose a fuck ton of games last year? Probably. Yeah, you did. Uh, maybe. Am I the best keeper in the world? Probably not. I'm an MLS keeper. Maybe not. But like, give me a shot. Fucking give me a shot, dude. Fucking bring your boy out. I'll bring like, you don't think the gravy gang is going to show up? I'll fucking the gravy gang is equally like double your fucking attendance. <laughs> I went to a couple of dynamo games. They had fucking 12 people there. Fuck y'all. Like, How far they have fallen. Like, just, like, come on. So they introduced, like, they're now the Houston Dynamo FC because we, we got to incorporate football. It's called SC, soccer club. So we, we call it soccer Ooh, here in America. Why did they change it to FC? 
they re- just a rebrand. They did a whole rebrand. They have a new logo, That's new dumb. name officially. I didn't love it, but like the the New Jersey is pretty sick. New Jersey is pretty sick. So I, you know, being I I mean they all they've done is turned me down and not responded to me or just ignored me or shit on me or whatever it is. And I was old like, logo you know was better. I disagree. I thought our old logo sucked. Their old logo sucked. They're not my team. They're not my team. Um, but I was like, you know what? I'll still support my hometown team. You know what? Let me go order a Dynamo jersey. It gives you the option to customize the, those jerseys. It's just the so, San Francisco Giants logo. That's all it fucking is, but with different letters. Actually, so many people do that interweaved letter bullshit. At least the Dynamo was fucking original. Fuck, you just ruined it for me. It kind of is that. That's exactly what it is. But it looks cooler than the Dynamo logo. The Dynamo logo looked Ooh, like I like, like the Dynamo team. logo. I did not like the old Dynamo logo. I thought it looked pretty, pretty bad. But I still bought jerseys. I still supported the team. I still went to games when no one else would go to the fucking games. And what did they do? Nothing. Nothing. And I didn't usually ask for anything in return except maybe a tryout. Maybe a tryout. Maybe just let me. I said if I could stop one penalty kick out of ten, and that included concludes misses, that I should just just let me suit up. I don't have to start. I don't have to play. Just let me suit up. For one game, I don't know. Let me do the opening kick. Fucking, you've got a on, good goalie guys. beard. I do have a great goalie beard. Tim Howard would be very proud. Yeah, Tim Howard would be very proud. Um, it's almost I, not identical. To brag, to his. Not to brag, but played a little pickup game over the weekend. One of our players said I was man of the match. Now, it wasn't an official. It was on my team, but he said I was player. I was man of the match. So, that got that going for me. Bear Creek pickup soccer, maybe man of the match. So, hmm. How many man of the matches did you guys have at Bear Creek last year, Dynamo? I don't think any. Um, I don't know, but I want to show up to that one time just to get one shot on you. I'd stop you so bad, dude. Not so a regardless, chance. I was trying to support the hometown team, saw the New Jerseys with the new logo. I was like, you know what? I need one of these. Let me get one of these, support them. And then I noticed there's a customized option. I was like, obviously, I want the number sixty-nine. I didn't. I don't. I'm. I'm. Like, I'm not gonna get my own name on the back of the jersey when I'm when I'm buying it. If you guys make me a jersey when I play for them, obviously, I'm gonna rep. I'm gonna rep that. Obviously, I'm gonna be number sixty-nine. But I just wanted sixty-nine, no last name on the back or anything. Couldn't do that. You had to put a last name. So I was like, I'm just gonna put nice. So like the last name was nice. Then it was sixty-nine. Thought that was funny. They fucking refunded my money. And we're like, oh, due to protocols, blah, 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 blah. This is against our policy. We can't do it. Fuck you, Dynamo. Dynamo FC, whatever whatever name you are now, now that you change them up so much. I'm fucking out. I'm a free agent. I'm a fucking free agent. I was going to say, did you try customizing it to have an accent over the E? Yes, because I was like, it'll be a, fr- it's, it's French. It's Nice. That's booty. Now, maybe try putting it. E C I N. So then you can take a mirror picture and it'll say nice. Oh, but then the six and the nine will be backwards. Damn it. Right. Right. So I, I it, dude, I bought a jersey. Oh, here's what you could do. And then though. they refunded my money. Fuck them. I have, I, I'm a free agent. I'm, I'm really eyeballing Austin FC because they're a Texas team that is not Dallas. And I will never, under any circumstances, <sighs> ever, ever, ever root for a Dallas team. That's just principle. Um, you know, maybe the Colorado Rapids, they have West Ham colors. That seems fun. Maybe I go there. Maybe the New York Red Bulls. That's cool. That'd be fun. Right, so you ain't, you ain't about that age. You ain't about the age. I get um, it. No, I'm a free agent because the you age fake ain't rap. about me. The you age ain't rap. about me, bro. No, if you really wanted this, what I you tried would do is you rep. would buy your 69 jersey with just a name on the back. And then you would take it to a shop that would remove that and put nice on it. It wouldn't look it's going to cost you extra, but I, I mean, fucking print okay, go to, go to Austin, go to Austin FC and see if they'll let you do it. Don't worry. Most of them won't. Don't worry. I slid in some DMS and maybe I've had a little back and forth between Austin FC more to come on that. I can't say anything officially, but more to come on that. And Austin FC has some sick jerseys. Their sponsor is Yeti, which is pretty badass. That's pretty dope. That's pretty hey. dope. I'm just saying, maybe we're an Austin FC podcast. I mean, I'm a free agent. Fuck the fuck the Dynamo FC. Fuck you. Kind of fuck Austin too. But like, they're not. I Dallas. don't know why. I actually they're really new. Like Austin. This is their first year. I have a lot of friends that live there. Like, I'm down. Nashville also seems fun. No, nope, that fuck seems Nashville. like a fun team. Fuck Nashville. 
Okay, well, hate on Nashville. But Fuck whatever. Nashville. If I'm anything, saying, you're going to Austin. I will accept Austin. Whatever, I will not accept anything out of state. Whichever MLS which team includes sends Dallas. me swag first is my team, unless it is Dallas. And if Dallas, if you send me swag, I will shit on it. I don't FC Dallas. I don't want any of that. Everybody not if, FC Dallas. I'm in. If and you're going to be a you petty Dynamo. bitch, if you want to make good, abandon, hook your boy up. If you're going to be a petty bitch and abandon the city, then uh, you better at least go to. Yeah, I abandon the city, or did the city abandon me? No, you're abandoning the city because it's not allowing a jersey that. Hey, go try and buy a Giants jersey with that exact. You same can. Thing. I happens. know people that do have those. All right, that's pretty weak. Not did you try again? Yes. They've refunded me, bro. Multiple times. Yes. I tried it with the accent. It didn't fucking work. Maybe I'll try Not... noise. N-O-I-C? Noise. That's what you should try. Or no, because just... I'm already scorned. I'm scorned. Or Hell just, or just no fury sweet. like me when the Houston Dynamo FC won't sign me as their keeper, give me a I tryout, think, or you, fucking I let me get a jersey. A, I think you need a Snickers, man. I don't, and I'm I'm fed up with it. My other not cool is soccer related as well. Uh, it's weird tan lines because I don't know if y'all can see this. Luckily, I have a lot of great lighting. Nope. But I was not playing really. soccer on Saturday and had yeah you can sort of see it if you really look i i had a headband on because my hair is kind of long in the front and since i'm a keeper i want to be able to see so i pulled my hair back uh, like it wasn't in a man bunny they just pulled it so like it wouldn't get my eyes and some of the headband was like on my forehead and now i have like a forehead line right here if you can it's very white right there and then it is more pink right here and it's just like fuck so i've only been wearing hats now boohoo yeah, so that just that was that. I mean, the 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 other one was more of my not cool, but this is an added on not cool. So weird tan lines, also not cool. Your turn, Pat. I'll go. Um, I mean, I guess I already said it that I keep. I'm staying up to five a.m. on too much of a regular basis now, and it's not like in the last two and a half weeks. I think I've done it three times. That's not good. That's not good. I shouldn't do that. Um, also, I've been wearing this bucket hat the whole time, and Robert has not once complimented it. That kind of hurts my feelings. That's pretty. I complimented cool. it. You did. What is it? I can't even tell what it is. It's just the, it, Robert. It's the same bucket hat that me and, that I wore for like nine episodes in a row because me and Alex just decided that we like bucket hats. Oh, it's you know what? One. Robert was bucket anti-team hat. bucket hat the whole time. Notice you never joined yeah, the ranks, bam. did you? You can flip it up right there. I look like <laughs> Gilligan. Like that's it's awesome. I know I've got a low quality camera. Thanks for hating on that, Robert. Robert hating on my camera. That's another not cool. Um, and then I guess no, I'm putting on my bucket is... hat and protest solidarity. Uh, my other one, I guess, is just uh, my boss uh, just bought a new house, and he texts me. He goes, "Yeah, so we're finally doing the move." Uh, you know, I kind of hate to ask, but 9:30 a.m. on Sunday morning, if anybody can help. And he texts me that while we've been recording this, and I haven't responded. I mean, I'm going to see him four more times this week, and I'm probably going to do it, but I'm going to jump straight up and be like, I'll tell you yes, but honestly, I might get really drunk on Saturday and not wake up till fucking noon, so, like, don't count on me being there. But on I might. Sunday? Sunday morning, 9.30. That's and then I have Lord's to work Day. Sunday night. I'll tell You know what I'll tell him? Ah, fuck. I was going to say, I was going to tell him that, you know what, I'll work, but we have to be closed that night or else I'm not helping. But we have a 20 person reservation mm. not dumb. great dumb that does suck like helping anybody move even if it's your best friend and you're happy with them even if you're returning a favor or they're gonna help you move this oh. moving in general sucks for anybody and your real so life like, friends just help just you. moving shit sucks not uh, we're work friends i mean we've worked together for seven years and, you know he's my buddy we don't hang out outside of work work buddies but I don't want to do it. I might just straight up tell him that. Like, uh, nah, pass. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'm not coming. Hard pass, bro. Oh, last saying, time they texted the wrong number. Uh, <laughs> got the wrong Actually, number. I should have. No, who dis? Me. me uh, so there's three of us that are managers, and I I should have done that because we text each other all the time, and someone will like it'll be like, hey, we need to do, get this tomorrow. We need to go to the bank, and someone will just always text wrong number. I should have fucking done that earlier. God damn it. Damn it. All right, Robert, what's your not cool? Uh, So mine's a little convenient one. I bought a pair of pants like 
end of December. And uh, I've been meaning to return them because they didn't fit properly. But if I return them back uh, by mail, it usually takes like two months to get the refund back. And they have this one store here in Houston that's in the Heights. And I've just been like really lazy to go over there because that's not near me at all. But uh, Monday I was doing some errands and I was finally near it. I'm like, you know what? I'll stop by. I'll return them and it'll be quick and easy. And I get there like maybe 10 minutes before they open because they open at 11. And I'm just sitting in the parking lot just just listening to music. And when they finally open, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go up. I'm going to return them. It's going to be done. There's a sign on the door that says that they are closed that day for training. <laughs> some software. Oh, the one day of all <laughs> days. <laughs> yeah. That fucking That's sucks. fucking brutal. That the is brutal. That I'm like around there. I'm like, I'm not going to be lazy about it. I'm actually going to go. They're closed. I That's mine. That. Not cool. I hate that. I mean, you're you're better than me. Like I. When I ordered that PPG then I was hoodie, just like, I'm just, I'm throwing these away and just ordering new ones. I, uh, I had told you guys when I accidentally ordered that hoodie in the wrong size, I never returned it. I just gave it to my friend's wife. I was like, I'm too lazy to go through the return process. Robert has taco shorts because I ordered them in the wrong size. I was like, do these fit you? And he was like, yeah. Was like, they're yours. Take them. Could have been mine. I, I could have worn them. I, I could have worn them how like chicks do those short shorts where they don't even button them. Those would have been like Daisy Dukes. Been yeah, they would have been Daisy Dukes unbuttoned. I would have looked super you know fucking what? cute. For next for next year's past the gravy calendar, where it's just uh, three of Bro, us. Oh, if we did a calendar. Each of us do do four months. Uh, you can do one of the summer months and just borrow Robert's <gasps> taco pants. I can wear my jean shorts that are uneven. We're doing a past the gravy calendar now, right? Like I think the, this has to happen. Existence. Okay. I like what I mean, we can get one done because dude, all the time you run across calendars. What are birth- birthday birthday like months? July. February, March, July. Okay, so we all got those months. Robert, you get to be a, a leprechaun. When's your birthday? Uh, I want to wear short shorts okay. with no shirt so you said and just be like I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> I, I, I want to wear short shirts, short shorts, no shirt, and just turn over my shoulder like a what's that? Um, uh, uh, suntan lotion baby, or like the copper tone. Uh, cop, I want I want to be the copper tone baby, but with me. Ooh, and Daisy Wheezy Pitts. can Wheezy can be the dog, <laughs> biting at it, and you're like ah. <laughs> Mine no, is February have, Valentine's no, 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 no. Day. We, I'll just we, have we, roses we all over them. my naked body. You could recreate American Beauty. Yes. <laughs> Robert, Robert has to be a leprechaun. Robert is dressed as a leprechaun. I mean, that's just what it is. Obviously. Guys, um, send us suggestions. I really want to do this. I really, really, really want to do this. If you're going to buy a pa- like you have like y'all gravy and y'all got to buy a pastor gravy calendar. You have to. Hang it up at work so people can just be like, what? Who the are these guys? Fuck is that? <laughs> Why is friends. there a fat guy in Daisy Dukes? What is happening? It's called art. Look it up. I don't know if I've ever been this this excited I'm about pretty something. Pretty stoked. I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna we can lie. do it. I don't like you doing can release it. Or like that. You can I'm release it whenever shoots. you want. Like there's a lady at work who's got a calendar that started in July. That's weird. Because people, you buy calendars at random points. No, you don't. So they don't always have to be January you, to December. It should. It's got to be. It should be. But it doesn't have. To I be. bought a calendar one time, um, just because like at work I always keep like because my job is to report on the sports, so like I I put every like Houston sports team schedule or like UFC events, Kentucky Derby when that's coming up. And like, I'll just fill out the calendar every month. And I was like, that would be a better way to keep track of what's going on. So I don't have to like look it up every morning. And I like ordered it in like, like middle of the year, but like I just ordered the regular fucking year calendar and like a weirdo that started in that month. Like, well, let's do it. What if we did like a two year calendar? Nobody does those. Two for Dude, one, what, two years for thought- one. One of the photos could be doing be doing the uh, jumping toe touch. There you go. In Daisy Dukes, probably with one ball hanging in. And, and like, I mean, we're gonna incorporate all. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking on one of the summer months. It's me with a marlin. Like, I'll catch a marlin. I don't know how. October finish, really, could be Frankie a Frankie Ocho. No, it's we get we each have to do four months. Maybe I want Frankie Ocho in one of mine. Maybe it's well, just my face featured. superimposed you on a spider. You have featured. You're right. My face superimposed on I a mean, spider. I mean, honestly, the, it's just an inlet. Like somebody's got to have a, a, a ladle of gravy at some point. 
We don't boomerang. all have I'll to do four. I'll be throwing a boomerang in one. We can all yeah, do like do. three, and then no, we each do uh, three, and then there's three months where it's all three of us together. Oh, we got to do the Tiger King like boyfriend's pose. It's just yes. all of us shirtless, like spooning. Robert, a bit. Robert has to be in the middle. Robert, you got to be the middle spoon because that's the most uncomfortable spot for him. That would make him the most uncomfortable. <laughs> so that has to be. Yeah, probably. I'll, I'll, I'll be little spoon. I don't care. Just make him even more uncomfortable that he has to put his arms around hey, me. I cannot tell you guys how excited I just got about us doing this fucking calendar. And it's months away. But... I don't like that. I was just talking about a shirtless, you know, hugging. And you said you got excited. I, I'm excited that we're going to have a calendar, bro. Yeah, Robert, you're definitely middle spoon on this one. You got to be middle spoon. I don't want Alex behind me. <laughs> Not again. Especially if I'm wearing Daisy Dukes. I mean, nobody can resist that. <laughs> Who could? <laughs> Robert's going to be in trouble then. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was our not cool segment. And boy, that was that was one of the more entertaining not cools I would say we've done this year. Um, let's move on to the answers segment brought to you by Little M Air Fresheners, the best air fresheners in the whole wide world. They're now offering stickers. They now have all kinds of other stuff. They got bows. They got journals. They got, what don't they got? They got everything. Go to littlemshop.com, littleemshop.com. You can see what they have for yourself. I promise you, you will never find a better air freshener than a Little M Shop air freshener at Little E-M Shop on Instagram, at Little M Tweets on Twitter. Let them know you're supporting the people supporting the podcast. Little M Air Fresheners, the best air fresheners in the entire world. Don't drive around with those baby bag bitch trees hanging from your rear view mirror. Get a Little M Air Freshener at little m shop on instagram little m tweets on twitter little m shop.com little e m shop.com the best air fresheners in the entire world little m air fresheners the official air freshener sponsor of pass great podcast this guys is the answers segment well, you just answer the question why don't you just answer the question be honest no big deal yeah answer answer the question don't change the subject just answer the fucking question yep, yep, right. Right, right, right. the question answers 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 answers, answers, answers. Any questions? So if you would like to submit an answers question, hashtag PTG answers at Pass the Great Pod. I'm at Alex J. Middleton. Pat's at not Pat D. And Robert is at Robert Barbosa03. If you got something you thought of while you were drunk, maybe you were high, maybe you saw it online, maybe you heard it in passing and you just wanted to hear our opinion on it, at Pass the Great Pod, hashtag PTG answers. You can also email them to us answers at passingapod.com uh but we check twitter first that's where we go to first and josh tree if we uh get a bunch of them from you we will not do 15 of them at once we will go week by week we love you we appreciate you if you want to send us a ton of them we will get to all of them just one a week because it'd be like weird if it was like this is just a josh tree answers segment you know we love you <laughs> but like maybe maybe when we do the if we, if we tree involved, and all of his branches that's what the we get involved with some sort of like charity or something you know since we meal wheels on meals on wheels got canceled and then tasers for tots got canceled um if we get involved with a charity maybe we can get somebody that donates to the charity to then they will be in charge of all of our answers questions that week maybe we can do that but for now we're gonna do one per person per week we love you guys if you want to submit 15 Go ahead. Knock yourself out. We love that. But we'll, we'll get to all of them in due time. This is the answer segment. We'll start with our podcast son, Skylar Lester. Oh my God, it's Skylar! At OMG at Skylar on Twitter. And Skylar says, what if God came down to earth and said, it's pronounced Jod and left? Uh, that would be the quickest way to just decimate and lose followers for the Christian faith. Like... I would like, like he said, it says he, he God, said like but GIF like, versus GIF is basically right. what he said. That's what I thought, but I was like, it'd also be funny if it was like, um, uh, what's his face, Ron Burgundy, where he's like, maybe it's yogging with a silent J. It's yod. It's, it is a G though. Right, but it would be funny if it was yod. <laughs> no, uh, I, 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 I think, think he would be very that, confused. Ninety-eight percent, or not, not, not I, I'd say a good fifteen percent of Christians would just go, what? No, that's the lat. That's I the always, straw that broke the camel's back. I'm out. I'm Can't done. Get behind Yod. Cannot get behind Yod. God, yes, Yod. Uh, uh-uh. uh. 
Uh, I always thought it'd be funny, like, if, like, because all the dinosaur sounds we've ever heard are basically, like, from, like, movies or Jurassic Park, which is also a movie. But, like, it'd be funny if, like, a T-Rex didn't go, Rawr! it was like, Aah! like, what if that was what a T-Rex sounded like? We're like, that's not fucking intimidating. I mean, think about, like yeah. Because, I mean, you would not think the, saw, the sound that comes out of a goose is, oh, but like yeah, like what if like a velociraptor so how do we came know? up to you? It's all intimidating looking. It's like yeah, like what? Chill it's just out, like dude. a canary, like a velociraptor sneaks up behind you, and you just hear <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that's pleasant, was... and then you get your face ripped off. Right. Which actually would be a good. Would be more tactic. dangerous. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, I think that people would be a little shocked if Jod or yod was actually the pronunciation i think the only way he could do it is if he did it on april fools came back the next day like no 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 no, no. just kidding guys just kidding just gotcha kidding. it was a troll that's a good one that's a good question though um that, brett brandon at price of a zj on twitter says i think he might be coming up on uh, on saturday too so maybe we'll see you at southern stars 13th anniversary party brett brandon at price of a zj says do you think the hulk is sour apple flavored or lime now that's a fantastic question um i mean the, the the hulk if he was a flavor what flavor would he, would he be i'm gonna but assume like, uh when he's the hulk respect the exercise when he's the hulk i am sour. respecting i have it's i have a detailed apple. thought for this yes when he's the hulk he's probably sweating because he's hulking out and destroying stuff and if you're sweating, I'm going to assume that you taste sour. Uh, I would agree with you on that. I mean, lime and is a good one. that's disgusting. But I, I would say the sour apple because of the anger, you know? Robert, are you in agreement with us? Yeah, definitely sour apple. That's a great question, though. Like, What, what is the mm-hmm. Hulk thing? Like, His let, balls let, are let, definitely sour. Let's keep that sour. going. Like, what is Spider-Man? What flavor would Spider-Man be? Like the bomb pop. Bomb Bob? Really? Mm-hmm. Strawberry, maybe. I was thinking cherry. Captain America would be Bomb Pop. Captain America would absolutely be Bomb Pop. Good call. Good call. See? <laughs> These are something to, just something to think about, guys. Something to think about. What flavor would random things be? What sounds would random dinosaurs make if they didn't make dinosaur sounds? I don't know. The the Falcon would obviously taste like chicken. It's the Falcon. That's the uh, they, they're making a series with them, right? Yeah, Falcon Winter Soldier comes out in two weeks. And it's the dude from Night Before. Yeah, the, the running also, back. Also, his original like biggest role was from Eight Mile. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Fuck. people always forget about that one. Um, so Emma was watching Clarence WandaVision. Clarence had a real good marriage. Emma was watching WandaVision. Speaking of superheroes, um. I saw a little bit of it. I'm super confused. Yeah. You can't just pop in and out of that show. You got to kind of, you got to watch one through eight or is it not? I have so many questions. I don't want to spoil it for anybody that hasn't watched WandaVision, but I have so many questions to ask you guys after we finish. You got to, you got, you got to start it. What is real? What is not real? I don't know. You have to watch them in order or else that show will make zero. Why is there a white guy? Why is there a red guy? Why is there a guy that's not a robot guy? I don't know. I don't know, but I do like the winky lady, uh, the neighbor lady. That, that's one of my favorite memes that's going around. So good. And she's just a really funny actress, man. She's in like everything. Dude, uh, her in the goods. I know I've talked about the show where that's, that's Derek, Jeremy Piven Derek, is a car salesman. Derek's wife, so though, in uh, Step Brothers, right? Yes. Where she just where she just pisses in the urinal like she just pops her legs <laughs> just, up like that's one of the up. best parts of Step Brothers. It's like, oh, Dale. Right after they had sex, and then and then she just like slaps him on the ass and walks out. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, God, we gotta move on. Not. We gotta move on. But uh, we can go. Fuck. I got a lot of WandaVision questions. The Hulk like is asked. sour apple flavored. Yes, sour apple for sure. Great question, Brett um josh tree coddle at joshua tree 713 he says slugs just homeless snails yes absolutely i mean yeah or 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 are they snails without an umbrella homeless snails that's probably better homeless snails 
I now, still love when we get questions in turtle? that That's in that format because that was the original. Like that used to be Word. how all of our questions were. That's yeah. That's my favorite presentation of it. But uh, slugs, just homeless snails. Yes, absolutely. Um, Brandon Whitehead at Brando Whitehead says, "Is a poncho just a cape that wraps all the way around?" I'm convinced that's exactly what a poncho is. Oh my god! Yeah, that's like, so like like when somebody was like, "Well, I want to be a superhero," they're like, "We'll just cut that in half, dude." I'm poncho man. I've got a cape everywhere. Would you have a poncho and then you'd have a cape on the poncho? Think about it this way. So when you're flying and you're a superhero, the cape flies behind you. When you've got a poncho, it would make a cone. Like when you're going supersonic, you know how like you see a plane go supersonic and that cone Uh shoot like that cone of air. Bro, you'd be the fastest flying superhero. And then poncho, since it's all the way around, guess what happens when you're falling from a a high distance? Parachute. (laughs) Well, parachute technically, show. if it, it hold on, but it is around your neck. So if it parachuted, the it, would poncho shoot. Ha- it would hang you. Shh, they're superheroes. They got strong necks. That's right. Yeah. Everybody forgets that. Yeah. <laughs> Strongest part of any superhero is their neck. Everybody knows that. So is you a, guys are the superhero people. Okay, sure. So a, a poncho is just a superior cape, is really what it is. It's the best cape. So is a bib a cape you wear on the front? It's a baby. No, it's not long poncho. enough. It's not long enough. It's like a training, like, you know, like training wheels. It's like a training poncho. Mm-hmm. Capes need to cover the entire front or back or both. A bib, it only covers like just below your tits. Below your waist. It's got to go, the cape has to go below the waist at least. Yes, at least. Okay. Preferably to the back of the knees. Cause if it's just to the waist, you're like, why is that guy's But cape I feel so like, short? like Wonder Woman doesn't have a cape. I feel like females with capes sometimes. Wonder they... Woman used to have a cape. Right. And actually when you're trying, went down just when below her shoulder blades. The, the male patriarchy is trying to sexualize these female like, superheroes. Wow, why did you pronounce it like that? Which, which we're against. I'm just trying to sound like a fucking person that's a talking Calling it right patriarchy? Now. Trying to come after me? What did I do? Uh, well, when the male patriarchy is trying to uh, you know, sexualize these women, much like they tried to sexualize Lola Bunny, they were like, we got to show some donk. So we're going to make these capes a little bit shorter on the ladies so you can still see the back side of them yeah that was pretty dope which we are <laughs> you know only if the women want that that's what i that's my take on that <laughs> only if she feels empowered by the cape she wants a cape that goes down to her, her feet go ahead go ahead you do you queen go off queen yes queen as they say these days um we should have gone queen b would have also been a great royals pick too yeah i had i, I thought about that but i was like eh. We don't want the Bay Hive on us though. Um, although they may come on, they, they may come at us now that we didn't we didn't pick her. But um, that's another discussion for another day. Um, yes, a poncho is absolutely a cape that wraps all the way around. Fantastic question, Brandon. This is a fa- like not cool in answers. Is it fair to say best of the year from both? I have been absolutely pretty good. entertained. Pretty like, fucking more good. probably than any other episode this year, at least. But well done, Gravy Gang. We 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 know you guys are gonna come through every single week. Fucking chef's kiss to the Gravy Gang this week for coming through. Not cool and answers. Um, our final final answers question this week from is from our buddy Gen Z Zach Woodruff at Salsa sixty eight hundred, and he says, "Is the Queen Piece in chess the original strong female character in gaming?" Yes. Although, hear me out, cards. I would assume chess. I don't know. Has chess been around longer than cards? What's well, uh, you know what we're gonna do here? That's a good old fashioned Google question. Little little gravy Google. What came first, chess or cards? The ninth century. I don't know when that was, so keep that in mind. Ninth century. First chess set. The history of chess can be traced back nearly 1,500 years. So I think chess. 760 AD. I don't know what the ninth century, century is. That seems seventh, more than well, seven. Says, the earliest predecessor of the game of chess probably originated in India by the 7th century. 
So that would be before the ninth century. Therefore, yes. Yeah. Yes. In Europe, chess evolved into roughly its current form in the 15th century. What is But um, also cards, cards that had king, queen. Here's the thing. Actually, definitely yes. Because if you go back to like uh, old westerns and shit, a lot of the time the cards, like it did not have make faces sense. on them. It didn't have faces on them for a lot. Or like, or at least numbers. So it probably still had the king face, queen face, shit like that. Yeah, chess. Chess seems like, yeah, it's chess. Chess is definitely older. Chess is definitely Because, older. like, yeah, you got to protect the king, but the queen was the best fucking piece. She could do Dude, anything. Qu- besides queen was the, a ride besides or die. what the knight she could do. She is the most powerful. She just couldn't do the you, three you, up. You got to listen to your lady. Got to you listen to your lady. I, they're fellas, smarter than what, we are. That's what I always tell you guys every week. Listen to your ladies. That's why I'm so dumb. Exactly. I got no one to bounce ideas off of. Exactly. Exactly. Robert laughed at that one. <laughs> All right, guys. Dude, fucking absolute killer week, Gravy Gang. We love you guys. This is why we do this podcast, because you guys fucking keep it fun. Uh, I cannot wait for the digital live 400th episode coming up. Not next week, the week after that. It's going to be awesome. Robert, thanks for joining us. I know you had a very busy day. I appreciate you uh, you hopping on. I, I don't know how we would have, we would have just had a weird mock draft with just two people, and that would have been yeah. really fast. Mm-hmm. But uh, we're not going to give you a demerit, but you do get a warning for being late. Well, he was doing work. <laughs> it wasn't like he was just hanging out. But like, don't worry. I was like, Rod, what the fuck? You making my you making my. That's work why he's just getting day? a warning. And I was like, Rod's my boss, so therefore, I'm cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> you need me to go talk to him for you? No, I'll send Frankie Ocho. I'll, I'll send Frankie Ocho over it. there. Send it to his mailbox, eh? Uh, I love you guys. You guys are the fucking best. Check out everybody else on our Pass Your A Podcast Network. Uh, Robert, every Monday, has the Recent Study Suggest podcast. What did you all talk about this week? I haven't gotten a chance. Ooh, we talked about the best cereal of all time. Ooh, ooh, I'm sure and that's gonna get hated. I'm sure that's gonna get Rice Krispie mm-hmm. Treats. What's up? Well, we don't want and to we, we had a debate of whether or not Cinnamon Toast Crunch was yay or trash. So Dude, we'll see. They've got a new one coming out, don't they? Right? Faster right now. Uh, they have uh, churros. Uh, Dolce de Leche Crunch. I think I saw that they're coming out with. Yeah, they're coming out the new ones. I, I don't remember exactly what it was. Yeah, but. I think it's Dolce de Leche Crunch. So go Which and subscribe, I don't, yeah. subscribe to a recent study suggest. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, at a recent study pod on Twitter and Instagram, right? Yep, at, at a recent study pod. At a recent study pod. Check those out every Monday. See, like you got the Past Great Podcast Network. And the beauty of it is that you got something to listen to every day of the week. The recent study suggest comes out. So does Disappointed but Not Surprised with their girls Allie and Addie. They had a fucking awesome episode out this week that I have uh, I have not quite finished yet, but I started that earlier today. And then um, we got the Weekly D that comes out each week. Pass the Gravy, obviously, on Wednesday. Claret and Big Blues Day. If you're a West Ham or Giants fan, we had a pretty fun little draft discussion with our girl Steffi Smalls this week. Uh, really, it's just, it's just endless, endless possibilities with the Pass the Gravy Podcast Network. The Time Machine with Andrew Green. He looks at old stuff. He picks a topic from the past, talks about it. It's a lot of fun. Check out the Pass the Gravy Podcast Network. Make sure you're hitting the subscribe. Go give us five-star reviews on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, wherever else you're listening to podcasts. Give everybody a follow. We are at Pass Gravy Pod. I'm at Alex J. Milton. Pat's at not Pat Dion. Robert is at Robert Barbosa03. We love you guys. Gravy Gang is the fucking best. I can't wait to talk to you guys next week. And until we do that, have yourself a great motherfucking week. Respect one another. Be good to each other. And pass the gravy. Yeah. Bitches! Everybody get up. It's time to slam now. We got the real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance, do your dance at the Space Jam, all right. Come on, slam, and welcome to the jam. 